Welcome to a realm where the pulse of sports thrills and the spark of technology sizzles. Join Ronald Unk Bolware and your charismatic host, Jay, a aka Jonathan Anderson. Together, they unpack the latest in sports and technology. This is Noonish Sports and Tech. How you doing? It is your favorite show every Wednesday, man. No niche, man. We starting right on time. I hope you didn't think we started on 12. You ought to see a pattern by now. It's not happening. But anyway, yeah, I am J.A., a.k.a. Jonathan Anderson, your host here with my awesome co-host, my unk, my unk for real, yeah. Ronald Baldwin. What's going down, huh? Nothing much, man. Just uh, excited to hear what uh, information the first lady got to give us and Talk about these subjects we got running off today. Oh, you ready to jump right in? We're going to dive yeah. in. Like, oh, uh, what, Trey Songs? I think that's who sings that song. But uh, and, and as you see, we do have the first lady in the building. What's up, boys? How are you doing? How are you feeling? It's raining. I'm feeling alive again. How are you guys? Yeah. What's yeah. going on over there? What's you drinking today? Got to love the rain. Got to love the crown. Hey. <laughs> Got to love the rain. <laughs> hey. I still got me six miles in the rain. Yeah. Oh, playing this good. morning? All right. Tell us, uh, what's your step count so far today? My step count so far today is 12,660. That's, no, that's a light day. It's 12, it's 1224. You know? I think Gunk just puts his, uh, his Apple Watch on a dog somewhere. It's just walking around. Hey, it's, it's, a, around. it's a strange place. <laughs> I think As my phone would say I will. Like Let's see, seven steps from my bed to the studio. So that's all I got today. On um, Pam, you're killing it. Yeah. Well, that's the first thing I do. You know, after I wash out, put my stuff on, and get that walker. That's all I know is how to kill it. That's all he knows is how to kill it. You know. You put your chains on. You walk your seven miles, and you come hang out with us. Yeah, to get his day started, you know. <laughs> Just to get started. <laughs> Absolutely. So what's going down, Miss Burns, lady? You know we've uh, we back in the second half of the season. You know, I know there was an Italian Grand Prix, better known as Monza, this past weekend, uh, and uh, I recall you uh, predicting a double podium. Uh, it may not have been in the order in which you predicted it, but did it happen? I predicted a double podium. I definitely didn't get the order right. And I don't think, I gotta be honest, I don't think anyone would have predicted Charles Leclerc back in first place at Monza. Now, this is a big deal for him because you remember when he won in Monaco and it was like, this is huge for him. He's had the Monaco curse. He's had so many issues, has never been able to win. So this season for him to take first in Monaco, amazing. To take first at Monza is where it's like Ferrari's home home track. So the Italian fans are there cheering on Ferrari. But no one thinks that Leclerc is going to be in first or Charles. Yeah. So to see to see this uh, come to life was, one, incredible to see like just live. But then the aftermath of it was really cool, just like just like in Monaco. But let me let me tease what what happened. So do you guys remember we talked about uh, Lando and Oscar being on the podium? It's what I predicted. Yes. Uh, Oscar and, and Lando, they've got an interesting dynamic coming into this race. Lando was in pole position. Now, I've always said this. Lando in first and in pole position to start the race never guarantees a win. <laughs> it, it almost guarantees you're going to see something really bizarre happen and an unexpected moment. If I see Max on pole, I'm suspecting a win. But something yeah. about Lando, I think that guy just gets really excited. He gets over eager. He, uh, he, he, I think he's just pumped and he wants to so badly to win that I think he mm -hmm. takes his eye off the off the ball or off the track yeah. and and he has issues so in this race he had a pretty poor exit um just right off the off the jump um oh, through yeah. that first chicane so he drops from uh pull his his teammate actually takes uh, the the front of the race um it was really interesting because you expect to see a little bit of a battle between the two cars we you know that dynamic I'm mentioning they tease this thing called papaya rules. Like the color of the McLaren is like this trademarked color, papaya. Yeah. And they've been talking a lot about the papaya rules. And we've talked about it, right? Where we say, like, you guys can go race, just don't take each other out. I call it orange. I call it orange. 
get it right. This is 2024. It's papaya. <laughs> papaya. Uh, yeah, no, it's orange to me too, but the, <laughs> it's not as catchy. The papaya rules are this like unspoken language between these guys and understanding between them. Like, hey, you guys can race, but don't knock each other out. We're in the fight for the constructor championship. If we have a car that DNFs or doesn't finish that race and has zero points, then you're not contributing to the win for the team and definitely not a win for the drivers. So yeah. they've got this interesting strategy. Well, anyway, the uh, we talked about the Italian GP being fast. They were on um, an interesting tire strategy and end up, what happens is Leclerc ends up just doing a one-stop strategy when pretty much everyone else on the field and on the grid, they were doing a two-stop strategy. So Leclerc doesn't pit a second time. Uh, Lando comes in, changes tires, and so does Oscar. And a lot of times, you guys know how they have their headsets on, right? They're telling people when to come in, what's going on. Yeah. The teams are listening to the opposing team's radio. So a lot of times, they'll throw tricks out there like, oh, my tires aren't doing well, and try and trick the team into coming, other teams into coming in or thinking, yeah. hey, they're about to hit. Let's get ahead of them. Let's do an undercut, whatever it is. And I think everyone expected Ferrari to pit after seeing the McLaren's pit. And he doesn't. So he ends up doing two thirds of the race just on one set of tires. Wow. There was a lot of grainy, like it was starting to fall apart pretty fast, but he just pulled through and ended up with a killer, killer win. It was really exciting to see him, but yep, we got that double podium, but you could tell those guys were not happy about it. The energy is the girls are fighting yet again. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was an incredible finish for Leclerc. And I think he, he just, really uh shines in those moments and a home win you know not his hometown but a but a team home win was was killer for everybody i really loved watching it yeah so that is their home track right mm -hmm. so yeah. they they knew they could make it on two sets right of tires I think, I think you know we home field advantage is one thing home track advantage i think has a totally different dynamic these cars are different right like it's yeah. not it's not a traditional stadium there's so many things that can throw you off um, you know, at one point, George Russell was in a great position, but he kind of gets pushed off track. Like, it's not just about yourself. It's these other drivers on on the track. So um, I feel like home track advantage, the energy is there, but there's still so many things that can happen. And the way the tires wear, the weather can contribute. It's really different, but the energy was there for sure. And uh, the Ferrari fans were losing it. I um, <laughs> up on the podium. Yes literally look out and just see like all red and they were all on the track it was really really fun uh, they used to not like there was a little bit there around covid where they didn't let the fans celebrate like that so i really loved uh seeing them them back and letting them do that and get real crazy with it oh yeah that's dope that's very dope man and congratulations to you mr mcclair because it sounds like you've uh two times this year have absolutely just uh done defy the odds he he really did. I wouldn't have bet on on Leclerc, but you know what? If I really think about it, maybe I should have. Like they've got they've got opportunities to continue to uh, to push limit on the constructors championship. This is now I think the sixth race that Max Verstappen has not won. Wow. He and uh, Checo finished further back. I think he was sixth. Uh, so yeah, the fizz around Red Bull has has deflated. It is not there anymore. Um, Truly, it's it's been it's been really interesting. So, ha, ha, have they already made changes to the design, like in 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 you know, kind of what happened Lewis Hamilton when they switched things around when he was winning all those? Have they already made those changes, or have people just caught up in their design with Red Bull? I think it's a mix of the two. I think uh, Red Bull really shined those those two seasons. They had you know they got in trouble. I mean, you talked about it. They got in a little bit of trouble for some of the upgrades that they made and how much they spent. Uh, they were withheld from doing some of the traditional testing. This was seasons ago, but now they've kind of leveled out. I think people are catching up. The drivers are more mature. They're they're learning and growing. They always make upgrades and changes. Um, and Red Bull's always on top of that. But I think the cars are just keeping up. The McLaren is freaking fast. Yeah. Um, and yeah. everyone acknowledges That's that. So they've made some really incredible changes. Um, but you know, I sometimes they're you know Max took a a, a grid penalty uh, a couple of races ago just to make some changes that kind of cost them a little bit but he he does well in those settings he'll he'll push through the field to to end up in a top 10 finish but uh yeah I, you know i can continue to see we'll continue to see changes i think though the 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 theory that i have i think still reigns true i think it's really these team dynamics there's a lot of changes um and i think mclaren has a lot to lose if they don't get their act together so it's kind of pushing them 
I think it was a missed opportunity for Lando, honestly. I don't think the strategy was right on on track for him. The idea of the of a two stop race versus the one that ultimately helps Leclerc win. Yeah. Um, you know, I don't know. It was a really interesting um, you know, way that it would unfold. But the championship lead, he he lost by eight points um with the uh, with with Leclerc winning. So it's it's fun. he's falling back a little bit, but I, I'm not I'm not I'm not worried about him. I think it'll be fine. And in fact, I think the not being in first pushes him a little bit more. But he's got to get that attitude in check, get the team rallied, and follow those papaya those papaya orders. <laughs> oh yeah, the orange boys. The orange boys. Yeah, that's actually. So, let me make some calls. I think that's actually their name. The orange, <laughs> orange boys are. Bad. I love it. I love it. So uh, also, there's some news with Mercedes, right? I know. Did yeah. They they did yes. Big news. So, um, you know, Hamilton obviously shook things up before the season even started and announced his move to Ferrari. Now, Leclerc's win, I know that sounds weird, really makes me feel even more confident in Lewis Hamilton because he's leading into a team that's actually competitive on track. He's not joining a team that struggled to uh, dominate with their cars. Ferrari's in a really good spot, so I'm really stoked for, for Lewis. But Toto, who is the team principal of Mercedes, put out a quote not too long ago that Five minutes after Lewis decided to leave to Ferrari, they had picked up a Formula 2 driver named Kimi Antonelli, who had done some practice uh, for them. In fact, uh, get ready for this one, guys. Can you imagine? Uh, Kimi gets to do um, FP1, which is just the first practice round of the weekend. It's a kind of low risk, right? Like, they're not qualifying. It's just purely testing the speed, getting used to tires, figuring out mm-hmm. the strategies, mm-hmm. how everyone else is doing. Yeah. So occasionally, they'll let some of the younger drivers pop in Take a seat of a car. So Kimmy jumps into actually George Russell's car during FP1. My guy didn't make it 10 minutes before he lost total control of the car and oh. threw the car into a parabolical corner, which was pretty fast. I don't remember the exact G's that he got hit with, but he wrecked that car. So the team was absolutely scrambling to get the car ready for FP2 for George to ride. So just imagine like the first time you're able to just test it out to crash. Um, so there was a lot of buzz. But the team was super encouraging to him, and they actually announced him taking Lewis Hamilton's, you know, MP. Early <laughs> the next day. So can you imagine, like, throwing the worst interception of your life, but then getting signed to be QB1? You know what I mean? Like, that was kind of exactly how it was. You, he, and so it was, a, it was a done deal before that happened. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was. That's what Toto says. I, you know, I don't know. He's, that could be a little bit of showmanship. Like, oh, yeah, of course, we knew it was going to be Kimmy. But I kind of feel like they they kept their you know options open. They probably had yeah. internal conversations. He's 18 years old, uh, super. I mean, he looks like a baby. Um, Max Verstappen, wow. I believe, was the youngest F1 driver to to actually drive an F1 car. I think he was just just under 18 at 17 mm-hmm. in a couple of months or something. Mm-hmm. The young 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 buck over there. So we'll see how he does in 2025. I'm excited for it. That's that's very dope. That's very dope. Well, congrats to that dude too. But uh, we got another. Excited race coming up this weekend, don't we? We sure do. Do you want yeah. to? Do you want to pronounce the name for me? Go ahead. Go ahead. Try it out. The Azerbaijan. Hey. There you go. It's a lot of letters. It's a confusing. Yeah, what the confusing... Oh, so that's actually the Azerbaijan chant, actually. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, this is a. Uh, this is an exciting Baku uh, circuit. It's a, it's just another street circuit. It's going to be a fun one. Um, you know, actually this, this location was the first place to ever, uh, debut the sprint shootout, which is one of those different formats that they test out where they basically do too many races. And, um, so I'm excited for this one. There's been some interesting winners in the past. There's actually quite a bit of diversity and in, in wins. You'd be surprised to know that Max Verstappen has not won this last race there. Um, in 2023 is actually Sergio Perez. So Max is, you know, hope his partner over there at Red Bull. Uh, Max won in 2022. Sergio actually won in 2021. So to see a double winner there is pretty oh, wow. cool. Yeah. A break in 2020. Valtteri, Lewis, and actually Daniel Ricciardo. We don't really talk too much about. He's another RV driver, a veteran out there. It's not mm-hmm. one too many races. He won here in 2017. So I think it's going to be a great race. I am predicting, you know, um, another yet, a, yet another fast track here. Um, but I believe we'll see um, likely... This is my prediction. Are we ready? Yes. Unk, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm Uh-oh. Ready. Uh-oh. I know, I know Unk's ready. Here's my prediction. I suspect 
we see a Lando in pole position. Okay. But I have a feeling he won't finish in the first position. I think we'll have another Monza style shakeup where we'll see Lando, Oscar, I'm going to throw in Max Verstappen because there's a lot to lose. Ooh. I would like to, I just to keep pushing it, I want them to remain competitive. I am suspecting some changes, some movement, and I think we will see yet another double podium for the Papaya Boys, the Papaya yeah. Bros. And them orange boys, orange boys. Yeah. I see them, and I'm I'm thinking we'll see a Red Bull, and it definitely is not going to be Sergio Perez, but I think we'll see Max back up on the podium this week. Man, well, that'll be that'll be huge for Max because uh, this is he hadn't seen a slump like this since before he started winning like crazy, right? Exactly. Like yeah. he has so been extremely consistent until the past month and a half, or I guess two and a half months since they took that break, right? So yeah. Man, it's uh, that's wild. That's it's a, a wild. Hey, he might he he might need to go and get out the video games. <laughs> you know, sound like the video games might be slowing old Maxi down. He needs to he needs to get back up. Well, maybe you know I don't know. They gave him so much shit for for doing the Sims. Maybe he needs to get back on the the simulations. Keep practicing. Maybe he's just getting getting lazy over there. But you know, they talked they talked about him the other the other day, and you know, they kind of asked him like, "Hey, you've hit I think he hit two hundred Grand Prix like for his career. Like, are you are you happy there?" And he was kind of like, "Oh, like you could tell he's already a little bit maybe burnt out on the losing." No part. So of I think. I think we need to see him uh, pick up the pace, if you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, so hard, it's so hard to avoid the puns. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when you see him pick up pace uh, in order for him to really continue on the, the true uh, record-breaking um, career, I suspect that he'll have. But I don't know. Six six losses in a row, that is uh, that is tough. That is tough. Hey. hey, hey, it sounds like the Rangers this year, you know? <laughs> yeah. Like, Max can't turn it to the Rangers in F1. You know, championship to what are we doing? <laughs> you know, like I don't understand. I except crazy. last night's, except last night's win against my Yankees. I'm going to see them tonight. My friends Sam and Nora, they were at the game last night. They are uh, here. We're going to go to the game tonight as well. And a uh, oh, heartbreak at Globe Life for for my Yankee fans. But the Rangers, you know, they pulled through. Walk off. My Yankee fans. Girl. Oh my God. Where are you from? <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, I, I, I've, I've repped for years. This is not a new thing. I'm not just here for the hat. It's hey, literally since my childhood. So one of my best homies from Bryan College Station is a huge Yankees fan. You know, my <laughs> homie Mark, you know, <laughs> Mark, Mark Gardner, no huge better. Yankees fan. So he's right there with you, and I'm just confused. But you know, when Manny and Mary is playing for the Red Sox, that was, that was my squad. No. I used to love watching those Yankee Red Sox battles back in the 2000 or oh, 2000 to 2006 era. Great time. That's that? Must see TV, yo. Must see TV. Yeah. Yeah. Well, speaking of must see TV, I am ready for the fantasy football championship win yet again. You boys, I was okay. sitting in the draft, trying, ready to talk shit, and no one was there. So I was watching. Oh, where were you? You were auto drafting. Six quarterbacks. Uh, what were you up to? Oh well, I was letting the auto draft do all that. Hey, you know, I I would, I would wish you good luck, but I wouldn't mean it. <laughs> you beat me too many yeah. times first, last I year. Need to, I need to look, look up my first my first matchup. I hope it's not on because you got some power players. I saw I saw your uh, I saw your team lineup looking good. Well, yeah, your computer picked it up. So goes uh, <laughs> He got his favorite quarterback. Justin Herbert. Uh -huh. Hey. Oh, you know, Justin Herbert, he all right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's funny. But nah, thank you so much, CY. You know, I know you got company. I appreciate you still giving us your precious time to come and give us this amazing F1 report, man, and predictions. Yeah. What we got. Hey, I'm I'm looking forward to seeing what happens Sunday. Oh yeah. Hey, well. We already know who's gonna be on the podium. Yeah. See why I told us that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. might not be in the Pacific order, but they're gonna be there. They'll be on the podium. Uh, hey, Attaboy Max, good job. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you right now. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'll catch up with you soon. And uh we're not we need to come up with a name. We're not the orange boys, we're not the papaya, we'll work on it. We'll come up with something. Uh, we, good luck yeah, with papaya boys out there. Absolutely. Oh, very yeah, uh, sure. yeah. see you later, Miss C Y. You have a great time yeah. tonight at the game. Thanks. Peace. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, man. That's what I'm talking about. First lady F1 in the building, man. That's some uh, that's some fun times talking with her. You know, man. Who's calling? What is going on? The 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 brashness of people. You know, I just don't get it. I don't get it. But we don't need this in our ears anymore because we are very uh, we're no longer. I think they hung up. Uh, they better had hung up. Yeah, they wasn't. Oh uh, yeah, they wasn't. They wasn't ready really for the round. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah. How we how we sound over that? Uh, I can, I can give it a. I'm gonna lie, uh, Oh yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, no, same. Solid. Yeah. Hey man, turn turn them tones up one time. It's time to get to these sports. Mm -hmm. We need some good background music. Hey man, if somebody on there, you see some say so. If you see something, I mean, I see a few people on there. Somebody yeah. say so. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you know, this is this is uh, an interactive experience yeah. around here. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we, just, we we like to have a good time, man. While we do what we do on this show, man, to talk these good sports. But, hey, y'all just give me one one good second so I can get this music popping, man. I got to have something, some tones riding right now. Just set the mood, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, what's going down? I mean, let's see. Let's go ahead and jump in this first topic. Yeah, man. It's like, the first topic. I'm just jumping on. Let's jump in these topics, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah, we're yeah. on. Yeah, it is. So, you know what we're talking about over here. Where we at, Dallas, Texas? Yeah, D town. D town to the fourth, they down to Rellis. You know? D town. On the south side. Yeah, <laughs> man. On the south side, the south side. Hey. <laughs> Dallas Cowboys news, man. First and foremost, we got us a new running back on the squad, though. On the Cowboys team. Yeah, Devin Cook. Absolutely. That didn't that didn't move the needle for me, man. Oh. I mean, just for me personally. Really? It didn't move the needle. No. I mean, last time he told it that rock, I believe he led the league in Russia. In 2022, right? Yeah. What happened in 2023? May I I mean, maybe I mean it might have been good for him to get the the yeah, leaks yeah. off his legs for a yeah, year. It might have been, but but this is the thing that unless he was just sitting back eating Frito pies. <laughs> hey, we gotta see. Because <laughs> you know, these running backs, man. They fall off the map so fast. Yeah, they do, man. You know, so I'm, I'm just Pretty saying, fast. for for me, I gotta see. Yeah, you know, I'm not saying these. I'm not going. I'm not going to confirm or deny. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just gonna say, let me see. Let me see what you got. Yeah, fall out before yeah. I jump on that train. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. No, I definitely understand that. I definitely understand that because uh, I mean, it's considering what we currently have, which I don't know how Zeke is gonna perform. He looked like he had a little burst at times last year with New England. Yeah. You know, um, and yeah, if he comes here bad. working and running hard, not being comfortable, you know, when you make people uncomfortable, they tend to. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And even at the best, you know, the best case scenario, I, I could count on Zeke for six, seven hundred yards rushing. Yeah. To three, four hundred yards receiving. That's the best case scenario. Yep. So you're going to have to have something uh, a little bit more substantial than that. And hopefully, Dalvin Cook can uh, actually do that. Yeah. I mean, It'd be good because we we see that Zeke is a better running back when he has a, a, a partner back there with him. Yeah, right. Him and Pollard, I thought they did damage together. Oh, yeah, absolutely. They right uh, separately. Zeke was really good at the beginning of his career by himself, but we saw Pollard couldn't carry the load by himself. Oh no, no. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think they realized too late how crucial Zeke is to this team. What I've been oh, saying, absolutely. he keeps us on schedule more than any other running back that we have. He's not taking those losses. Cause he's gonna put his foot in the ground and get those what he third down and wars, get what he got to get. And those third down and lows when he pick up a blitz. That, yeah, man, that's that's a lot, you know. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I think they kind of underestimated that. Absolutely. You know, they were looking for the thousand yards and the twelve, fourteen hundred yards, but sometimes the small things count uh, quite a bit more than sometimes they get credit for. And there's no doubt about that whatsoever. No, no doubt about that. But yeah, and I'm looking looking forward to this game Sunday. You know. Um, Coming out playing against Cleveland, but you know it's a little, little bit of uh, before the season gets started, still a little bit of angst in the building around oh, yeah. Dak's contract situation right now. Oh yeah. Um, do you think that they'll sign Dak before the season starts, and do you think they should sign Dak to an extended contract? Right now, they're saying the only thing that's holding the, the deal up is the length of years, right? Uh, I think Dak wants a, a long-term contract, and they don't know if they want to sign him for two, three, or four years is what I read. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, I understand Dak's position. You know, he's uh, 
He's over 30. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I would, I would want a long-term deal, too. But uh, then, the, then the Cowboys is that uh, you haven't delivered, so why would I keep on investing in you over a long period of time? But I'm mm-hmm. like, you know, so, I mean, you know, I understand both sides. I couldn't believe they gave him the first contract with a broken leg. And, I mean, you know, the, and the way the money is in sports now, these guys have uh, – if Dak bet on himself and he don't get hurt, he's he, he going to be a winner. Yeah. Because they give away money now. Because I'm like, I, w- I wouldn't have gave him the first contract like that. But I'm not Jerry. <laughs> but, you know, the whole deal is that Jerry is winning if, if everybody else don't. Yeah. Yeah, no doubt about that. Mm-hmm. And that's uh, that's just how that's going to go. Yeah, that's how that's going to go. That's how it's going to go. It's going. Yeah. It's going right now. We're not going to affect. That's it's going to keep going. We're not going to affect that bottom line. Which is money. We'll, we'll affect that that win and loss column. Oh, yeah. But we're not going to affect that bottom line. Like, period. That's just what it is. But uh, curious to see what's going to happen with that whole situation, man. Yeah. Uh, if it was me, I'd let him ride it out, bro. Earn your contract. If you want another yeah. contract, give me a Super Bowl, bro. I mean, just go beat San Francisco. Hey, I'm tell you like this. If you want another contract? If they give us Super Bowl, the bank is open. Wide open. Bank is open. Wide open. But, but right if, they, now, if they get to that point, it's but right now we open anyway. You know, you know, you know how you go somebody's house and they open the door. They say, "Hey, man, how you doing? Yeah, you all right? That means they don't really want you in there. Absolutely. Right now, yeah. And right now, the bank door is just cracked. Jerry talking through the crack. Somebody just. So, <laughs> Hey, Dak, what you doing, man? How you doing? You want five years? We want to give you three. But if you win in the playoffs, guess what the bank door going to do? Wide it's open. Way wide open. Yeah, wide they're going to be sitting in there waiting for you to come in. Yeah. the bank door is open. Absolutely. But right now, Jerry talking through the crack of the door. And, and, the, and the odds of that happening are slim enough. Hey, Just based I'm, off of what I've said. Yeah. Hey. Oh, yeah, going to get the Super Bowl win. That's, yeah, that's. Based it's highly unlikely right now. Based off what I've seen. Yeah. So there, there's been a little little, little buzz in the building. You know, the uh, Dion and, and Shador and, and uh, so, you know, some of the people went to a Cowboys game, uh, uh, what, towards the end of last year in the playoffs, I believe, or towards the end of the season, right? Or was that a preseason game this year? I can't remember when it was. It was recent, right? Then in 2024, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> I think. But uh, anyway, uh, there's been rumblings of, of course, we know Shador is one of the highest paid NIL players, and he might be on that Eli Manning, uh, the man t- type situation stuff. Uh, he might have that positioning, that that strength in the in the negotiation to tell the team, no, I'm not playing for you. You better not draft me, and if you do, I'm sitting out. Yeah. And you know what the strength is? Was that? Monday. Absolutely. Yeah, are not a for paper. And, and then not a, and and lineage, I'll tell you, lineage, though. And I'll say this, Shador's even in a, in a better place than Eli. Absolutely. Shador got still made me of his own dollars. Mm-hmm. Not his daddy's money mm-hmm. or, or his brother that's in the league. Yeah. His own money. Yeah. So he can say, if I don't, no, nah, you know, and he's in a he's in a position where he can tell the team, if you draft me, I'm not going to play for you. Yep. Because I go on the internet and still make, I might not make 30 million, I'm not gonna make three, four million. I'll be good. I'll be good. Yeah, yeah, he'll be on. He'll be on well off media with his with. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm just saying. Yeah, he'll be with his daddy. Yeah, keep talking about stuff just like they do now. Yeah, and but he'll have more time for that, so it'll be more clips. Yep, it'll be more money. So he's in a great position. It won't be as much money as as the NFL, but he's in a great position to say, uh, you know, to to control his own destiny. I'm but saying. but do you think it's possible though? What? For him to end up at a Dallas Cowboy, or how it's, possible do you believe it is? This all depends on what Shadour will. Yeah, okay. if Shadour will be a Dallas Cowboy, he, he probably will be because he can tell everybody else no yeah. and mean it. Man. And then if you don't, and then if you don't, uh, then if you do draft me, I think with the new rule, all I got to do is work out a year, then I go to who I want to after that. Man, I was tra- and really, I'm not sure that. Yeah, okay, but, okay. Because it, it, it used to be. That you had the rights to that person indefinitely. Yeah, it might be wrong, but it's not indefinite mm-hmm. anymore. Mm-hmm. It's just got a time limit. Wow, it might not be one year, but but it's got a time limit now. You can go in the UFFL or something, you know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's more leagues now. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's pretty wild. It's pretty wild to think about it like that, you know. But yeah, it's very possible. It's yeah, very yeah. possible, and we know and they're, they're not afraid know. to make moves and be uh, trendsetters in those moves. Yeah, they're absolutely like I say. He don't even have to go to any league. He can go yep. to the end of day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And still make me. Ask just just train. Yeah, train for you. You know, keep putting up videos, keep talking. Absolutely. Interviewing his dad and talking to other players. 
you know, all that traffic, yeah, all, all that stuff. So, yeah, so we got a big game coming up this weekend. The first game of the season. Every game should be big as far as I'm concerned. You know, so once you get to the big game, it ain't no different than the other. Well, the first game is the biggest game because it's the next game. And yeah, exactly. And then, uh, then once you play that, guess what the biggest game? The next game? The, the, the game two. Absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, what you think? We're going to get a, uh, are the Cowboys going to get a win this weekend against them Cleveland Bright. And I want you to be honest with me, yo. First game of the year. Mm-hmm. I'll say yes. You think they'll beat the Browns? Yeah. Okay. I mean, you know, they the Browns got rid of questions as as Dallas do. You know, every, you know everybody rave about Deshaun Watson, but I just want to see what he, you know. Yeah, what are you going to do? I mean, what are y'all ready to do? He ain't doing a lot. He got to play out one year. You know, and then, then, he, then he got a big controversy, missing a year or so. Then he got hurt. Then sometimes I'm just saying, he really haven't played a lot of ball in the last three, four years. Yeah, you're right about so, that. So that's a big question. Yeah. You know, and then uh and we know that's uh-huh. played, it hadn't been up to up to up to what far and his standard that he yeah, said previously. What he said in, he been he been forty five Jordan, not yeah. twenty three Jordan. Yeah, and then that's the thing you gotta realize too. When he was in Houston, didn't he have uh who was his receiver out there? Andre Johnson, uh not Andre Johnson, uh the uh, uh Hopkins. Hopkins, yeah, DeAndre Hopkins, yeah. yeah DeAndre Hopkins and uh didn't he have a nice running back down there too? I mean, I'm just saying something. Uh, he had some decent running back. He had decent running back. Oh, that back. was after all. Uh, you know, you said think... one or two running back that was. Yeah. yeah, that was after him. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, I'm just saying, I just gotta see what those Sean Watson <laughs> he haven't done anything in two or three years. And this is the day. Uh, uh, Dallas has got a fairly solid team and Dallas is Dallas is good. September and uh, September and October team. I feel like I'll say it like that. I feel like the Sean last year we saw flashes of what he was. Like yeah, previous year we didn't see any of that. He looked like he was all the way behind. Last year there were games we saw flashes of what he was with the Texans. Yeah. When he was that guy going into the playoffs and you know top four quarterback in the league conversation type stuff. You know Pro Bowl uh, quarterback. We saw flashes of it. Now if he can get more consistent, like anything else. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Then uh, we'll see, but like you say, until we see it, yeah. yeah. So I mean, ain't really, you know, hadn't really proven anything. Uh, on the flip side of that, uh, they do have a very serious defense over there, and we, if if we know one thing that gives our quarterback problems, you know, give our whole offense is, is, a, is a really good defense. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they got a serious defense. But what was their defense like last year? About number four or five. Uh, I'm not positive. I don't. Yeah, know. I mean, they, they got a good solid They're good. defense. And uh, uh, what's the uh, Miles Gay? And oh yeah, free was uh, doing regulation, man. But uh, uh, then he's gonna be going against the rookie. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing that. What uh, Tyler Guyton looked like? What's his name? Yeah, Tyler. Yeah, Guyton. Yeah, you know, right. he, you know, he got some good feet, man. Absolutely, he can move with him. And, 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 and this is the whole thing. <laughs> a whole lot of times, experience is overrated. Oh, no I, doubt. I'll put talent over experience all day. Hey, because I can teach him what I need him to know. Hey, guess what? Yeah. Most of us have talent going. If you got a guy been in the league seven, eight years, he's just average, and you just got a rookie that's special, that rookie probably going to get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no doubt. So, no so doubt. I'm, just saying, I'm not trying to say Guyton going to get it, but I think if, uh, if Guyton can block uh, Garrett fairly decent, that was got a good chance, but I ain't seen anybody do that. So I'm looking forward to seeing that battle this weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Miles Garrett is different. Just everything that dude just different. Just put well, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of BB does at center at center too. I think our old line is an area that has not been talked about very much. That is look that has improved quite a bit. Yeah. And and that can help that. And, and, and it, it improved with with uh, not only did it improve with Tyler. It improved with age also because all these guys are young. We got a young squad now yeah. on that on that line. I think um, our, our guard, our all world guard, right guard is uh, the the oldest on the on the line. Oh yeah, he's way older. He's, yeah, yeah. I, because I, we got we got two rookies and one second year player, one third year player on that on that line. Now. Yep, something like that. Yep, called BB. How you, how you say his name? Uh, yeah, you got it. BB and BB. both are rookies, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And this is BB first time ever playing center, if I'm not mistaken. He was Correct. In college. Correct. You know, people say, "Well, he never played center." Man, that's a lot of great centers didn't play center in college. Yeah, you know. So, man, but he was looking at, and, and I know it's just a 
preseason. We be looking fairly solid, Jim. Yeah, and I, I see this Browns defense giving Dak a lot of trouble. And I've already told you we're going to have a slow start, and I'm going to stick to that. This, I mean, if they didn't bring back weapons that we had in previous years, uh, CD, uh, Brandon Cooks, and Jake Ferguson is what you got to work with. Do we have another receiver on the other side of CD? They blame him. They, uh, they let him rookie, wasn't they? Jalen, what is Well, CD going to see some double teams and a lot more action. Well, if that's all they got on the other side. Well, I mean, well, we got Jalen Tobin, what are you talking about? The, the Dr. Cooks. What about Brandon Cooks? I thought he Yeah, good. Brandon Cooks, but, I mean, is he... He's over there, he, you know, he's either a slot guy or he'll bust it over the top. But, but uh, are you really comfortable with Brandon Cooks as your number two receiver? That's about what he was last year. I mean, who, who do we have? We had, we had Gallup and Yeah. Over. Well, Gallup was supposed to be the number two, and then but Cooks. But he never did develop, so I mean, right. you know, we're about in the same spot we was last year so far as receiver. Minus but no, no Pollard. And, and, and that, Pollard got Dak out of a lot of holes. Yeah, and that little dump off, you know, when he can see that. But then now we got Zeke over there now. And Zeke, Zeke can Zeke. No, Zeke catch a lot of balls. Oh, he can catch a lot of balls, but he ain't got that burst. Father no, will take it to the house on one of them bad boys. Yeah. Father will take it to the house. The, when Zeke was there, when last year he didn't do a lot of house taking. Yeah, but he still had some nice yeah, on, on, some that, on that on that on that pass. Yeah. yeah, he had some nice little. I'm just saying it'll be a trade off. I think with and this and this is the thing. I'm just going on issue. Man, Dallas is a good September to October team. Yeah. I'm just saying that. Hey, yeah, when, when, when they get grimy and we are no not playing at home. Seven. No we matter what these Playing out there in that cold up in the northeast or the, wherever we are, outside. Uh, that's another story. Yeah, that's another story right there. You know, I, yeah, we we struggle in that, on, in that, in the, in that cold weather. You know, like grimy, I say, you know, I still Baltimore, think. Baltimore, Pittsburgh, Steelers I still, weather. Yeah, I still think out. Dallas will win 11 to 13 games. You think so? Yeah. Man, that's. And beyond that, I. I think that's I think that's very um uh, uh what's the word? I can't think of the word right now. Oh. Uh, but uh very optimistic obviously. Yeah, that's very optimistic. For but sure. well, you know, they have the uh they supposedly have the field retired for the field party schedule in the league. Mm. And last year, when everybody said they had a week schedule, they was tied for the third party schedule in the Yeah. League. So, you know, you you can't go. I mean, I don't know. Because some of these teams are going to be a little different than it was last year. Man, I'm just looking forward to the defense. Like, I, I hold well, on, and I think Mike Zimmer, my strength. Yeah, Mike Zimmer, and, and uh, like I said, I don't I don't look for Cleveland to put up a lot. I mean, I'll, it's not like I, I'm expecting Cleveland to put up 30. Yeah. I think uh, I think Dalvin Cook, oh, I, I don't know. They got some weapons over there, though. Yeah. And I know Nick Chubb ain't back yet, but, I mean, they still got some new Nick guys. Nick Chubb is free agent, man. Uh, Nick Chubb is it? Uh, cause they was in the Cleveland. They were making, they were uh, trying to make a decision whether they were gonna let him go. And I don't know what the hell. But they were actually on the fence with Nick Chubb. I mean, he had a gruesome injury last year. Yeah, yeah, they had a. They were on the fence on whether they were gonna bring him back. Wow, that's yeah. crazy. Cause that man was toting that rock for him. They yeah. do not respect running backs in the NFL no more. These boys can't get money. These boys told that Rob get hurt, don't get re-signed. It's their own fault. Or get let go. It's their own fault. What for playing running back? No, no, no. Oh, for before, for coming in and out? I'm I'm gonna go out the game, coach. Come replace me. Well Nick running backs do that more than anybody. I don't think Nick Chubb can catch real well though. I mean, <laughs> I mean, yeah, he probably can't. But I'm saying that has hurt the running back position to me more than anything is I want to come out. Oh man. Running backs will run too good. You talking about that as far as that money concerned. Yeah, you know, yeah. yeah. On the, just how much the team is yeah. Well, you you're always taking breaks. Yeah, you take you always taking breaks because this is the this is the thing that I will tell you. I ain't never seen Barry Sanders tap on his elbow and come out. Yeah, I ain't never well, seen Evan Smith do it. Never seen Swingers. All them dudes back middle. Man, you almost had to drag them off the field. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But then with the whole camera there. just swung over there. And... Oh, the whole camera. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's what, what is going down? Uh, hey, yeah, that's it. It still look like it's pointing the wrong way, but no, it's, kinda, yeah, it's I true. mean, but just yeah, the front part is right there, but the the camera swing. Oh, okay. But yeah, man, no, nah, it's uh, it's pretty. You know, I'm looking forward to the game this weekend. It's a lot of good games oh, taking yeah. place. A lot of good games. Starting with this first game, you know, uh, Kansas City and and uh, and Baltimore tomorrow night taking place on Thursday night football. That's that's how you get the season cracked off, right? Oh there. yeah, I'm taking Kansas City. You take Kansas City all day? All day. Oh yeah. Hey, Baltimore lost what? Thirteen players, but they no, they lost fifteen. Three offensive linemen, 
They lost uh, that that good uh, linebacker they had, Queen, the Queen, and, and they and they lost three starting offensive linemen. Yeah, I mean, that's I don't, that's rough. You know, I, I don't know about that part. Uh, that, that part right there is rough. Yeah, but they gained a, a special piece though in that backfield with Lamar. But you ain't got no block. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm just saying. I'm not saying a three offense. I don't know. I don't know who they replaced him with. Yeah, I don't. I don't either. Yeah. I mean, but no, three starting that offensive linemen. That's that's what we yeah. play with the Cowboys. Hey, we're gonna have Mark on. And Mark gonna give us a rundown on what's going on. Oh, there. Yeah, nah, and uh, you know, Derrick Henry, you know, we'll see. Yeah, I mean, that's Derrick Henry, Derrick Henry and Lamar, Dan Richard, that big four, three hundred pound fullback they got. That sounds like a downhill disaster. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of yeah. You know, some bulls coming at you, you know? But we're going to see, man. Yeah, we're going to get some bulls on the other side of the ball, too. Yeah, dude, you know, it's the first game. You know, Kansas City, from my, you know, Kansas City might be a little Super Bowl hangover. Well, yeah, they they usually start slow anyway in the season. Yeah, it's not going to come Patrick Mahomes got to cut somebody out and throw a hill with a song. But, man, that's like, you know, the boy was coasted last year. Yeah. And then as soon as Patrick Mahomes did that, it went on the win streak. I think they went back and signed Juju Smith-Schuster again. You know, he wasn't there last year, but Pat, Absolutely leveraged him. Well, you know they got the before. Hey, they got the ball from Bailey. Xavier Worthy, the water. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, from Taylor, uh, from Texas. Yeah, from Texas. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Texas. I thought I said Bailey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wrong, Texas. wrong play. Yeah, he can, he can roll. He can roll. He's pretty solid. You know, kangaroo court. Nah, but uh, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, nah, it's all good. Mine go off too. But um, but nah, that kid got some speed though. Oh yeah, oh yeah. you know, and Kelsey still, you know, they, still I, still. I think yeah, they they asked him if he if they asked him to take a, a step back in his role, Woody, and he was like, no, nah, dog, you know what I'm saying? For what? I don't know. I don't know why anybody would ask him that. They say, oh, that was a that was a reporter asking. Yeah, it ain't like they got weapons all over the field, you know. I mean, they, it's like because they got a burner that's gonna open the field up for Kelsey. Why you gonna Why you gonna stop what's working? Exactly. I'm winning the Super Bowls, bro. And you don't want me to get the ball no more? He'll see. He'll see call the touchdown. Hey, I'm just saying. On, on, on. Hell is safe. Kyle yeah. Hamilton, yeah. Yeah, that only gave up one touchdown all yeah. year. And that was in the AFC Championship game. Yeah. For, I mean, and you, you asked me, do I want to cut my role back? Get out of here, man. Exactly, man. I don't know. But it's, it's always so, some reporters that want to come up with some wise you know, want to ask some questions that want to start some. It's random. They they didn't play. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and then he go, but then he go right and go right to Patrick Holmes. Oh, we don't care to say he ain't willing to step back. Ain't trying to start no, man. That's all. I'm not trying to start man. Yeah, man. Nah, it's all good, though. It's all good. But I'm looking forward to a lot of games this week, man. NF1 oh, is back. Oh, it's man. going down. And, uh, yeah, so also with that comes what we let, like to call the Noonish Fantasy football league yes sir we finally had our draft see why i was mentioning it uh, a little bit um uh, a little while ago what is on that no i right, trip come on now come on now uh but yeah see why i was mentioning it not too long ago and um where's my i see the uh chick over there click and see over there refresh that over there see if anybody's saying it yeah nobody's talking yeah, I mean, we see somebody who no, we see say, say something. See something, say something. Yeah. Nobody's saying anything. Hey, but where's my graphic, though? You know, like, that's what I'm looking for. I think I might have put it in the trash on accident. Because, you know, it yeah. goes down like that. And if that's the case, that's just the case. Yep, that looks like the case. So, yep. So we started doing this fantasy football league. Forget about the graphic. Who cares? Uh, yeah, and I'm looking forward to it. I had a really good draft this year. You know, I got Kyler Murray on my bench as quarterback. I got Todd, uh, not Todd, but uh, C.J. Stroud uh, at quarterback. Yeah, I'm. Kyler is a good fantasy football because he's running that thing and throwing that thing, so he he gets his points. So I'm just, uh, I'm happy about that. You know, rest of my team is solid as well. I don't know them all off the top of my head. I got two more drafts tonight, so that was uh, only got yeah, two, I believe. Yeah, yeah, and I, I, I you know, I just. Uh, I have a lot of fun with this, you know? And the more you draft, the better you get at it. So I'm looking forward to some good drafts this evening. But, uh, but yeah, man, next up, you know, it's a lot to talk about, man. This past weekend, Florida State got this thing cracking in that football, man. 
What's what's up? No, no, we, no, we, we, no, what's up? What's up? My city got a lot of problems, man. Yeah, it was it was rough. It was rough. It was rough. We ain't gonna talk about that right now, man. Yeah. So, you know, uh, DJ uh, Ugly, as we call him, uh, Ugalele, I think that's how you say his name. But uh, DJ was out there with that fooey <laughs> two weeks in a row. All right, so this kid at one point they had him going between Bryce Young. And C.J. Stroud. The top three quarterbacks were Bryce Young, D.J. Ugly, and C.J. Stroud. Bryce Young and and, and C.J. Stroud are both in the league doing, you know, Bryce Young ain't quite doing his thing yet. He's on a horrible team, but we saw what C.J. doing, you know. I still think Bryce is going to be all right once they get over this ugly patch. But uh, there's no way in ukulele that D.J. Ugly is getting drafted, man. Like straight up. Yeah. I mean, my boy can't beat Georgia Tech and Boston College. Yeah, absolutely. And, and no disrespect to both of those teams because they both look pretty dang strong. You know, but I'm yet just, still, Florida State is always supposed to be stronger. But I'm just wondering what made Florida State bring him in like that. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, like you said a second ago, you'll take talent over age any day. The man got talent. Like I mentioned last week, size is a talent, and talent is a talent. Six four with an arm, and I just mentioned to you, you know, I think he was up for the Heisman, like in Clemson at one point. Yeah, early, early, early this year, about yeah. I mean, but after that hype went down, he been kind of. But I'm saying like that talent is very attractive when you know you got that guy, yeah. right? Obviously, there's a disconnect. But every coach, if you're a good coach, you believe you can right the wrong. But it might be a wire loose in that thing. Well, I'm saying sometimes uh, you have to uh, realize that that wrong is so bad. That's I mean, I it's hard to write. I mean, you it's know, broken. I know, I, I I know I'm I'm good, but I but I but I'm not that much better than the two coaches he already had. Man, Man, I'm not am I that much? I mean, I think not so, not but... not fair, but I'm just saying, you yeah, know, right, right there. he uh he has uh. He, having talent and not doing nothing with it is just like not having it at all. I'm saying yeah, like absolutely. That. So, you know, you can be talented, but if I don't see any of that talent come to fruition on the field. What's the point? Yeah, what's the point? And, and, and that's what I'm saying is that Florida State brought him in, and I am just think that they, you know, sometimes you think you way, you know. I mean, the passes he was missing the other night was disgraceful. One exactly. night, open corner right. Exactly. I'm sure he's completed that pass uh, only times with his eyes closed in 707 in and in practice. high school and in, in practice. practice. But when come game time, boy, you tighten up like this, bro, you're in the wrong sport, dog. Yeah, absolutely. You got to go do something else. So I don't see, you know, Florida State got a lot of problems, man. I mean, you know, and that's, that's just part of it because it's it's trickling off to the rest of the team. Absolutely. This, because this is what I seen Florida State start doing the other night. I start seeing Florida State start quitting, man. And their body language got bad. And the and the effort Showing got bad. Because the, boys start walking defense, around. You know, the defense was making them. They were making they, them work for. Yeah, you know, making them work. Then the defense just start giving up. Yeah, because it, it's not like the defense gave up no huge plays. Yeah, yeah, not, like yeah. they you know Boston College was three yards, six yards. Five, five yards, yards four, three two yards, yards four yards, 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 six yards. Like just meticulously. Matriculating down the field. Matriculating down the field. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, but it was, that's pretty wild, man. You know, I, I couldn't believe, uh, I can't believe that Florida State has started this season off 0-2 to Boston College and Georgia Tech. And it's only going to get tougher. Yeah. It's only going to get tougher. You know, I think this week they play Memphis. You know, I don't know what Memphis is coming with. Uh, I don't think they are nearly as good as they were when Mike was there, but but right now, Bob, Bob, uh, 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 Florida State looks like they're gonna have a hard time with it. Anybody, anybody. 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 no blowouts anybody. this season. Yeah, they are. Uh, My you know, God, that they, they looking like if they win, <laughs> if they win four or five games, they're gonna be doing good the way they're looking now. Yeah, unless they look way different this coming week. Yeah, but the last two weeks. They looking like they're three, four win teams, uh, team. Man, out of nowhere, it's just, it's it's wild. And I know we uh 
No, we lost our little uh, graphics you put in the trash. We jumped to the college, but then we got one other subject. Uh, no, no, we, we didn't lose one. We got it. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Let's go on, I, did, I did need to go on and go back to that. Yeah, yeah. let's go on and jump back to the NFL one time, man. Oh, so, time. so uh, yeah, you're right about that. So, Josh Allen was voted by his peers as the most overrated quarterback in the NFL. Do you agree with that statement? I think they just don't like Josh Allen. I think so, too. Josh Allen is the only quarterback that scored 50 touchdowns all over the land. He did it twice. Josh yeah. Allen is, you know. A, I mean, he, he got a lot of turnovers. He'll he throw you five picks in the game if you let him now. But, and he has. Yeah, but. But. but to be the most overrated player. And, and then much you talking about at November, December, January? That boy comes strapped up ready to play. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, the only person that really that have beat him over and over is uh, Pat. I mean, when, you, when you're leading the game in the playoffs and you have 13 seconds on the clock when, you, when the other team receives the kickoff, yeah. 13 seconds, you expect to win that game. That's not your fault. You expect to win that game. You did no, your no, job. No. There's nothing else you can do I'm not. with 13 seconds left on the clock. And I'm kicking the ball now. I'm not, I'm not no great uh, Josh Allen fan, but I tell the truth for man, Josh Allen, come on, man, how are you stupid? These guys don't like Josh Allen's uh, demeanor and the yeah, way he talks. You know, so I think some of the things that he said, yeah. that and he real, come back at him, that yeah. he said as a kid online. And then he real cocky too. Yeah. So when he running the ball, He's 6'5", well, about two four. He's a big boy. He looked for them. He looked for them. He's a big boy. He, he looked for them. Yeah. You know, so they don't. I, I, I mean, to say he's the most overrated player in the NFL. That much. That's a big much. I think that's, I think that's a lot of personal feelings going into it. Hey, that. these the same dudes that got Dag rank number 16. Yeah, that's a lot of feelings going on. If they ain't overrated, they inflated, and y'all say Josh Allen, I mean, you know, for the that sounds like some Caleb Clark type stuff. Yeah, man. That's, you know, and then I'm gonna say this too. <laughs> huh. You know, people love the ball. They feel go look at the ball reference. Yeah, I mean, I ain't trying to be funny. And you know, but so, wait, so who would you rather try to tackle, Lamar or Josh Allen? <laughs> It's about 50-50, man. Hey, I know, but he might, he might bust ACL trying to get <laughs> down. Hey, 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 you might, hey, you might, <laughs> you might sprain your wrist, try to lick it with the sun, try to try to the bottom of my butt, but then Josh Allen, if you want to see the bottom of he might bust your skull. CTV. Yeah, so, so I'm just saying. Be on there with Antonio Brown on CTV. I'm going to say this. I'm going to drama, though. I'm going to say this. Josh Allen, man, he's probably easier to tap. Yeah, but that don't mean it's gonna be less. No, no, it's they probably it. easier to tackle. Hey, Mr. Ryan, take a knee to the knee. The whole thing, Lamar will put the shoes bad when you do. Yeah, tackle. yeah, no you, doubt you do. No so, doubt. So it's about, I mean, you know, but to say Josh Allen is the most overrated player, that's a bit. And much. I didn't even know that he was rated. I mean, because all I hear for you going towards Josh Allen is criticism. So I don't know how he overrated. I don't either. I don't either. But the man, yeah, he starts ugly. But I'm telling you, when you got 13 seconds left and against Pat Mahomes and I was on the clock, you expect that game to be Kansas over. Kansas City game? Yeah. Uh, what they what they lost 24 to 27? Yeah. Your boy Diggs dropped the ball right at the 10 yards. Oh, yeah. Right, right there in his hand. Oh, yeah. And I just so you know. Yeah, that I, I mean, for them to say Josh Allen is the most overrated, I think yeah. that's a little personal feelings. Yeah, no doubt. That's just, that just me. Because he ain't overrated on top. Man, this dude scored 50 touchdowns twice. Yeah, and that's not easy to do once. Cause I think no one has some quarterback that done it. Yo. You know, although I'm in a quarterback, I'm gonna look it up. I'm in a quarterback that's done that ever. Oh he yeah, might be the only one. That's why I got Keon Coleman in our fan fantasy draft, and I'm excited about that young man and that pick right there because I yeah, think so he's gonna have a great rookie yeah. season. So that's a that's yeah. a much as far as I'm concerned. Oh yeah, I'm not a Josh uh, Allen fan. Yeah, but I'm a, but I'm gonna tell the truth. You know, how I go with Josh yeah. Allen is one of the better. Qu- Josh Allen got to be in the top five or six. Absolutely. Oh, I mean, you take away his his turnovers. He's turnover prone at times. I, I mean, but he, he overcomes that he when it can't. his turnovers. Yeah. You know, what a quarterback you, you can't go. You can't. You don't name about three. You, you can't name too many of them at all. Even with the turnover, because this yeah. is the thing. Yeah, you got 15, 16 turnovers, but you got 50 touchdowns. Hey, that's pros and cons right there. Pros and cons. Hey, is he making up for it? 
Some of them. You know what I'm some saying? Of me, yeah. Some of them ain't making up. Yeah, ain't making up for them. Oh, when you get 50 touchdowns, that kind of make that 15, 16 turnovers yeah, that, look more like eight or nine because you got so many touchdowns to go with it. Yeah, that'll cancel it right out. Yeah. That'll cancel it right out. But we're going to keep this train yeah, keep it over there. And so, yeah, back to the back to the uh, games from this past weekend, NCAA. Uh, we already talked about DJ Ugly, man, and just how he's just really messing things up over there for those boys at Florida State. Basically, already out of national camp- championship, uh, out of the conversation, right? Oh, yeah, you're out. Uh, you're out. You're out. Looks like some college football is back. We got some old old school teams coming back to life, man. Oh, yeah. Pumping, pumping new life in these boys. Miami is looking real good right now. They got Cam Ward, uh, who was formerly in Washington State. You know, that's the guy that, that Shador goes out and works out with bro, when he's out in Miami or whatever. They've been knowing each other. And they, hey, Cam's like, bro, I'm better than you, dog. I love it. I love the way they talk to each other and how they're friends and how they compete with each other. Oh, well, I loved it. Oh, that's, that's the, you know, that, that'll push you right there. I absolutely love it. Tell anybody. And, and Miami got him one. They got him a really good quarterback. If I believe I'm better than you, and even if I don't believe it, I'm going to tell you that anyway because I, I may not be better than you right now, but I'm getting better every day. Yeah. By the time you realize you're better than me, you're not anymore because yep. I got better. I'm caught up. Yeah, I'm caught, caught up. So I ain't got no problem with you know, I tell anybody. Man. I tell my brother, anybody else, not only my friend. <laughs> yeah, you know. straight up, straight up. So, no, so Miami went out and, and beat Florida pretty good this past weekend. Oh, yeah. Which was great to see. Uh, anytime you can see the University of Miami uh, succeeding in college football, uh, you know, that's that's a good time frame, man. That's that's, that's a fun that's a fun brand of football right there when University of Miami is winning. Oh yeah, I say that much. That's good for college football. That's good for everybody, the fans, everybody, because that's an exciting team and uh, a lot of a lot of fans that haven't been able to root for they root for their squad in quite some time because Miami been down. Hey man, I'm gonna tell you something that's good for college football. UT. Oh yeah, absolutely. UT, of course, man. It's been. It's been good to see the the resurrection of the the UT Longhorns, because uh, when I was coming up, you know, high school, like that was the squad everybody wanted to play for, right? And that they have lost a lot of that luster for whatever reason. Losing typically does that to you, and uh, they haven't been winning at the same rate as they were when BY was here, and you know, there, other teams. There's been Brown been gone. Been yeah, there. yeah, it's been different. But now uh, Sarkeesian got them boys winning. Oh yeah, Sarkeesian got and uh, that's cool. I'm cool with it. Oh yeah, you know I'm I'm happy to see it, but uh, also Arch Manning. So this first, no, he scored his first touchdown. Yeah. Wrong. Yeah, you know that's, that's the difference between Arch and Peyton and, and, and Eli. Arch can tote that rock. Huh? Oh yeah, I don't know if you've seen him tote that rock before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know uh, Peyton had some bad knees, but he not. He not just did roll. He not wasn't wasn't there by slow as Peyton. Mm-hmm. And the other, but he wasn't a runner though. You no, know, the other brother Cooper. Cooper he played receiver. Yeah. yeah. Oh, did he? Yeah. And that's and Arch is Cooper's son. Yeah. 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 And, and Archie was running running the quarterback a little bit, wasn't he? Yeah. You know, Archie was everything. He just yeah. went to wrong team yeah. with them bag heads. Oh, Play for yeah. bag heads. Uh, but yeah, man. Nah, so it was cool to see Arch get out there and do his thing. And then uh, USC surprisingly they went out there and beat up. Or L or they beat LSU. I can't, I can't say beat up, but they beat LSU and made some. Oh yeah, man, that was that was you know they they got some guys that can go out there yeah. in USC. So, but you know I think a lot of squads are typically the defense oh, yeah. is going to be they throwing on their side, but they beat LSU the other night to open the season up. So that was a big win for USC. But uh, we had some games of the week last week, and we gonna go on to talk about those, man. So starting out with Colorado and that big win against North Dakota State University. That was huge. It seems like forever ago, but it was oh, just yeah. last Thursday. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, Colorado, they they uh, they got a lot of hype around them, but they got a lot of work to do also. Oh, yeah. Because they still got the – They you still know, got a jail. That's their first game together. Yeah. That absolutely. unit, that team. Yeah, yeah. They, and everybody want to get carried away and talk about how many wins and all that, man. And it's, it's just quit worrying about the wins and worry about getting better. Yeah, if you, if you worry about getting better, the wins will come. Man. Yeah, yeah, no doubt about that. You got to worry about getting better. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. So now nah, it's uh, you know, I thought it was a great game, man. It was fun to see Travis Hunter get out there and clown and do his thing. Oh yeah, three touchdowns in the season opener as a receiver, and you know everybody knows he's a shutdown corner, probably the best in the nation on that cornerback side of the ball. But you know, as we discussed the other night, this man 
Oh, uh, every play but two. Every play but two. Never seen it before. I've never seen it before with my own eyes. I don't think you've ever seen it before with your own eyes. Not in college. Not in college. Yeah, not in college. No, no. no. So that's, 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 that's pretty incredible by that young man. And this is what I'm this is what I was saying the other night. It's all about opportunity. And this is the thing. Dion is living his life vicariously through Travis Hunter. Because Dion the, wanted the, to do that. The reason that Dion know that he can do it because Dion think he could have did it. Yeah, exactly. You know, that's exactly. all. If he had the opportunity, he, he didn't have the opportunity. But I mean, at times, and we talk, I talk about this all the time, when coaches don't have the athleticism of the player that they're coaching, they can hold them back. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. So when he, when Dion, when, when, when Dion recognizes one that's like him, He's letting him. He's letting him do he's it. He's letting him do it. He's letting him do it. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, you know, especially when this kid, the way he trains, uh, he's not like the other kids. And this is all awesome. that ten sprints deep, and he's like, "Yeah, let's go. I'm eating. Yeah, I feel good right now. I'm eating. Yeah, you know, he eats though. He he enjoys though. That's a that's a different mentality to Absolutely. enjoy that Absolutely. level of shape right. and getting your body in conditioning like Absolutely. that. Absolutely. But but this is the whole thing. This is what I'm trying to say though. It's been other guys have had that same work ethic before. They just didn't get because this is it's still legendary now. It's players what will tell you now. I tried to work out with Jerry Rice, but I had to go throw up. Yeah. I tried to work out with Walter Payton. Yeah. I couldn't do it. Yeah. They were too they they workouts were too strenuous. And that's all uh, Travis Hunter is getting the opportunity. And this is what all I'm saying is that first don't mean only all the time. But that kid first don't mean only all the time. And I'm not going to go so far as to say, I think he's one of the top wide receivers, and, but I'm not going to say he's the he's the best defensive back in college football. I can't name one better. I can't name one better. Well, he's more popular. I oh, mean, the kid, the first thing. he was the number one. Like, out of high school, he was the number one DB in the nation and the number one wide receiver in the nation. Out of high school. Yeah, did you see that all? So he's just did you see containing his status. Did you see that all? They kind of roasted it for two, three touchdowns last year. When they argued, yeah, one of the teams. Uh, I don't, I don't remember. I mean, I'm just saying. You know, he's he's still with, and then he's got a great work. He's still got to grow. It don't mean yeah. the greatest. Yeah, I mean, right now, but he well, when he well, came well, out, that well, was for me to say. I haven't saw enough. This is my first college weekend. Yeah, I haven't saw enough for me to say that he's the best defensive back in the right. You didn't see enough last year. No, because he wasn't the best last year. He was the best defensive yeah, player. first team All-American, you know, like I said. He first team All-American athlete, not, not defensive back. Flex. Not defensive back. But that was part of what he did, though. But He only did two things. But if he but if he was the best defensive back, he would have been an All-American defensive back. He was, he was the All-American athlete. Flex, but he was, yeah. yeah, yeah. But he was an All-American. But it's, not like, he it's, it's not like he was doing running back. He wasn't running back kicks. He wasn't running back punts. He was playing receiver and cornerback. Absolutely, absolutely. So he was the best at both of those. He was first team All American as an athlete, but not at a position. That's a different thing. Not a AC. I mean, who else? You, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's I different know. between being an All American athlete than being an All American center. No doubt, it's a difference between being an All American athlete than being an All American quarterback. But how often do you see All American athletes? They, first off, they just invented that in the last few years. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Was yeah, it invented for him? No. I don't know if I've ever seen that position or that title go to anybody else. Yeah. Again, I haven't paid attention. Yeah, but I, that's the first time I've even heard of an All-American flex. Yeah. Yeah, that, I haven't either. So, you know, so I'm just saying, so that's a yeah. new, new thing. And I'm not trying to knock Travis on him, but I'm yeah. just saying. I mean, man, he's, a, he's, a, he's a great athlete. And to me, he's going, he's a wide receiver. The kid is special at both oh, yeah, of them. Awesome. The, the players I saw him make against yeah. TCU last year, uh, against uh, whoever he had his other hand, that when he was guarding one guy coming this way, diving back, having an interception behind him, I don't see quarterbacks doing that every weekend or every no, no, year. No, 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 I don't see Those that. are plays that I don't see made, huh? The kid is special on both sides of the ball. And that's all I'm saying. Like, it's not the fact that he's just a great athlete. His hands, his instincts, like he is the best young football player I've seen in a long time that just does a whole lot of different things. I ain't seen one like him. I'm sorry. And that's just, that's how I feel. Oh, you got your opinion. That's my opinion. 
Yeah. Man, that should have been in my opinion, but it ain't though. Yeah, hey, hey, I'm gonna say it like this here. You were you were probably million, 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 million young on Charles Woodson. You probably wasn't million. No, nah, Charles right. Woodson was cold. Yeah, he was you, cold. You probably million, million, million young because he did the same thing. Charles, he, Charles, leave Wilson. one man, go to another man, give him an interception. Then they put him back to run punts. He run touchdown and punt. Put him back to run kicks. He run touchdown and kick. Put him at wide receiver. He catch touchdowns over there. And he's a and he's an All American defensive back. Yeah, he's a All American. In one position, but he wasn't as good as a receiver as, as uh, Travis Hunter was or is. Is all I'm saying. I don't know. He didn't get the opportunities, but every time he got it, he was going to the house. I'm yeah, saying I like that. I think I did a poll. I'm yeah. gonna check out that poll. Yeah, yeah, check Charles out that Wilson. poll. When last time I looked, Charles Wilson was uh, Charles Wilson was was winning. <laughs> we gonna yeah, I'm gonna say. Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying. I mean, all, <laughs> that's all I'm saying. <laughs> all this stuff. To, to play like all this stuff ain't never been done or couldn't have been done before. I mean, I've never I, seen a guy play all but two plays ever. Yeah, no, I haven't play. either. I yeah. haven't either. I have never saw nobody play in the major leagues until Jack and Robinson did it. But I mean, but but do that mean he the only one could do it? That mean he was the first. first that don't mean only. That means the right, first. You right. You right about that. First don't always mean only. You know. I, and I, I, I I had never seen a guy play two positions. And win the Heisman Trophy like Charles Wilson did either. I hadn't saw that team. He didn't, he didn't truly play two positions, but yeah, he Charles played is, three or four. Charles is up right now. We got a very limited uh, vote though, right yeah. now. So right now we got a vote up right now. Charles Wilson and Travis Hunter, two dudes, yeah, one two pink. Dudes. Yeah, two. Who dudes. are you taking? Two right. Dudes. And, and this is, uh, you know, I think this is like that Steph Curry thing again. You know, I think oh, it depends yeah. on the demographic that's voted on. Yeah, just like you know, the, just like in the Super Bowl when we watch uh, what's what's the guy from New England. He kicked, he he intercepted the ball, called a touchdown. Troy Brown, yeah, Troy Brown, he called a touchdown. And he was on the defense and, and, and all game. that, and yeah, played defense mm -hmm. and all that. But Tom Brady got the MVP. Yeah, but he scored a touchdown on. He got an interception and he called a touchdown. Then I think he did some other stuff too. Yeah, yeah, Troy Brown was very versatile, but he wasn't Travis Hunter. No, Charles Hunter. Hunter first off, Troy Brown was playing like free safety. He wasn't. He was just like a center field when he got that interception. Yeah. He wasn't guarding on the island. Travis Hunter be on that island, man. Yeah. Well, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna make the good dudes in college better than guys that been in the Super Bowl getting all my MVPs. I ain't gonna make college guys better than them. Not yet. No doubt. Not yet. No doubt. No doubt. At that, at that age, he probably better than Travis. But, uh, yeah, so yeah. Troy Brown. It was some, it was some pretty wild plays this weekend. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Some very, you know, it's all that's the 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 dope top plays is always fun to watch. Man. Oh yeah. So I don't know if you saw uh, that interception. Uh, by the it was a small school. Let me think. Let me see if I get the name of that school real quick. Small school, young man. Name was Zara. Uh, let me let me see here. One time. Appreciate you tuning in, man. If you if you're out there, man. If you see something, say something. I haven't seen any messages come across today. That's pretty wild, wild, man. That's, wrong, That's pretty wild. They might be talking. We might just not be getting our messages shown on the screen right here. But I'll go check in just a second. But um. Uh, but yeah, there was an interception by a young buck by the name of uh, <laughs> I don't even think I put it in my notes, which is weird. I didn't put him in my notes. But anyway, did you see the play where the DB was covering the guy? He's in front of him, the ball goes up, he turns around, jumps off two feet, and with one hand catches the ball like this, cradles it. To the oh yeah, yeah, yeah! It's a beautiful pitch. Oh yeah, beautiful. No pitch. Wrong. I can't think of the name of the school. It's, it's right on top of my tongue. I can see the uniforms and everything, but I can't think of the name of them. But what a catch, man, by that kid! Of course, we got to bring up that uh, that Travis Hunter catch in the end zone. Oh yeah, that was insane. Guy all over him, right before that possession, Shador, the same play they had on the on the previous possession. And uh, the guy got called for, for pass interference. And Shadu was like, I don't give a catch the football, bro. You know, catch the football. Catch the ball. Yeah. I don't care if it's pass interference or not, catch the rock, dog. Catch the ball, see the net. I mean, uh, Travis Long. And, and, and we, see the, we see the effort that, that he pulled it's out of Travis. On the net. That's called accountability from your teammates. Absolutely. Accountability, man. Accountability, man. Yeah, Travis playing out of his own mind at this point. Your mind will tell you, I can't catch that. But somebody that can push you and challenge you, oh, yeah. things like that appear and happen, man, in front of everybody. That was a beautiful catch right there by Travis Hunter. And then we had an OBJ esque catch in the USC LSU game the other night. Oh, yeah. Young man, receiver went up, man. I mean, the picture's on the screen. Just, um, 
hand, one hand, uh, catch that thing, fully laid out, jumping backwards, man. Insane grabs, man, over the over the pad in that first week. Might have been the players of the year already to happen in the first week of football, but there's gonna be several more players oh, okay. to take place. Man. It was hard for the yeah. player of the year to out in the first week. Yeah, it is. But then it's possible. Yeah, it's and, possible. and there were some crazy plays that were made. You don't see them every week. So uh, this week's games of the week, man, as we continue to roll on, man. So, huh, oh, who you got in these games right here? Chicago, oh, Chicago, Colorado versus Nebraska. In Nebraska, Chicago beat Nebraska last year. Colorado. And uh, have you seen Young Mahomes? Wait, uh, what? Talking about Nebraska quarterback? Absolutely. Yeah, I was just reading to you. I'm taking Nebraska. Rayona? I'm, I'm, I'm taking Nebraska. Oh, you said Colorado at first. Wait, I said that. You said Colorado. Then you said Nebraska. No, I said I'm not saying I'm taking Nebraska. I'm taking, I said I'm going to tell you. I'm, no, I'm just sitting there thinking I'm taking Nebraska. I Man. said both of them play. Man, hey, young Mahomes look real deal out there, don't he? And the, and the, and a lot of scrimmages go. Now I know Colorado beat them last year, but Nebraska a lot of scrimmages just look way better, man. They just, you, you, you seen the young quarterback though? Yeah, yeah. I saw the him. boy look like Pat. Uh, yeah. With his glasses on, I'm I saying. Mean, no, you mean physically look like? Yeah. Him. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And then he tried to play like him. Yeah, we know he got a member. He said he got number fifteen at the T-Bow, though, but that's hard to believe, young buck. When you walking around like Pat. When I'm a, 15, I'm a say, you got it because I was saying it like this. Nah, T. Man, T. Will graduated about twenty years ago. You ain't number eighteen, nineteen. Hey, I'm gonna I'm keep, keep it. keep I'm gonna keep it consistent, bro. You doing everything else like Pat, dog? You have been watching Pat, bro? Hey, Tim Tebow. And Tim Tebow didn't look like Pat. <laughs> Tim didn't look college quarter. Yeah, he he wasn't airing that thing out though ever, no, no. ever. Well, so you know, uh, but he still managed to beat the Steelers. Tim Tebow was a winner now. But now nah, it's gonna be a good game, man. You know, hey, what's going down? Flag football edits. What's good? Colorado wins that. Then Notre Dame, FMU. Okay, let's get it, bro. Hey, you had me in Colorado, then Notre Dame, bro. But yeah, I'm, I'm rocking with all that. Boy, where you from? Flag football. Flag football edits. Appreciate you tuning in, man. Yeah. Talking itch, dog. Oh Early yeah. First the itch talk. Oh, 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 so you got you know uh, what I'm saying? You got it. went down the line. You got this from you. Yeah, over oh, oh, BYU. Yeah, then uh, what? What about UT Michigan? Yeah, he said he got Texas. Oh, I got Texas all. I'm with Texas all day. I'm with uh, right down the line. Hey, I'm with you on. But I'm gonna have to split there. with you on that Colorado. Hey man, uh, I'm, hey, on, I'm, I'm with I'm you on that Colorado right. dog. I, I think Shador Sanders is a special athlete. Hey, and, and oh, once I you do too, but once you beat somebody, once you beat somebody, yeah. hey, it's in your head dog. Yeah, and it's in their head too. Yeah. You know, and they can think all they want, they're going to beat you. They can think everything they are. Oh, we got new quarterback. We're going to beat that. And you can think what you want to think, dog. But what I saw, I don't, let me go back to this this, this right here. You know, this is, what, this is what I didn't see last year. I'm going I'm to pull up this other graphic right here real quick. I want you to see something. All right, you see that? You see that right behind Shador on that graphic right there? You see, you see, you see it's a black, a black uniform laying on top of the ground mm. right behind him. And he got a, a a white and yellow uniform right up on them. Yeah. We didn't see that last year. We didn't see that old line putting in work. He got young Jordan Seaton over there going in as a young buck right now. I'm just saying. I, I, he got some protection. It's going to be a different game than what last year. Hey. Colorado Bowl had to play better than they did the other day, I believe. I, I, I think they got to play better than that. You, you think Nebraska can beat North Dakota State? I'm not I too sure so. about that. I think they can. I'm not too sure about that. What have they shown us in the past five years that proves that? I'm just going to go with what I saw last night. Now, Ray Ola, the young, I mean, young, young Mahomes, look like a solid. Yeah, they didn't know. Well, last year, Nebraska State won five or six games. I can't remember how I many they won last year. Yeah, but well, you know, they lost in. Colorado, yeah, yeah, they lost. Colorado. <laughs> it's all lost to y'all, yeah, yeah. Early, early. I, I think, I early. think Colorado's gonna pull that one out, man. And then we move, you know, the the. Let me go back. Let me close that back out there. I just wanted you to see that action we didn't see last year. And of course, I'm taking Notre Dame over Northern Iowa University. Oh yeah, Notre Dame over Northern Iowa. Yeah. Yep. And then uh, SMU's got BYU at home. I got those. I got Michigan and Texas. I got to flip backwards. But uh, yeah, SMU is taking uh, on BYU at home. You taking SMU in that? Yeah, I'm taking that some music because I'm a home. I'm going to ride with the hometown squad, too. Oh, no, no, no. I hope they got them Triple D uniforms on. I got to be one of them jerseys that say Dallas on it. Oh, yeah. I love it. I love it, man. But, uh, yeah, I'm riding with the Mustangs. And that Texas and Michigan game, man. You know, Michigan won the national championship last year, right? 
Yeah, but they lost some, you know, quarterback. They lost Corum. Uh, I think he's in L.A. right now with the, uh, I believe the Chargers. Oh, no, he's with the Rams. Uh, Corum, the running back from the Michigan. Comes to- they lost Jim Harbaugh, <laughs> which was the main guy. Yeah, yeah, that's a real issue. Things are not running the same around there. I don't mm-hmm. care if it was somebody on staff around there. On that, yeah. that, that brain matters. You know, yeah. when at the top, that matters. It is a personality. Everything matters. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, I'm taking Texas in that one, man. You know, I think they're very strong. They got those young guns in there, man. They got you, um, uh, uh, Ewers, and they got old, 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 uh, old Manning, man, Arch Manning. I want to see more of that kid. And I'm sure his uh, his sponsors do too. Bro, I'm sure they do. <laughs> I'm sure they do. Hey, they went crazy when he scored his touchdown the other day, though. So that was that was very awesome to see. But I was going to see him beat out yours. Don't just <laughs> you got you got to do something to get on the field. Yeah, I don't even think it's a thing of beating them out because both of them going to be solid. And I think that it's just business at this point. You got to look at you know this uh, this college dynamic, especially when you win it, and you got guys getting money from these sponsors. Y'all look at it like a business, you know, Arch advertisement time. Yeah, Arch, Arch get the most money. Yeah, yeah, he is. But Quinn got it first. Yeah, that, that, and, like I'm and, saying. And, and he make it too much for them to be like, hey, we just got to give what? Nah, dog. He ain't making more than Arch, though. No, nah, but he yeah. ain't. But he so, still. So if you go go by, hey, and this is the thing, I'm just saying, I'm not sure Arch is beating him out. Hey, and Arch, you know, Arch don't even really, he don't really got to be on the field. His name alone is going to sell. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. As long as they know he in the building training. Oh, yeah. And, and he can walk out in public somewhere with, with uh, uh, jump out of Lamborghini or something. I just That's all they want. The, the only reason I want to see him on the field is that he earned the playing time. Oh, absolutely. Time. Now, Arch. Just, just call the name Arch. Oh, he's a dog now. He's a dog. I, I can't wait to see the kid play because the guy can go. The guy can absolutely play football. But you was, you was coming out to play too. He played. Yeah, they're pretty good. Absolutely, yeah, pretty they got two NFL caliber quarterbacks, and you know that's a that's a great coaching job taking place by Sarkeesian, man. I had that guy all wrong, and I'll admit it. But we gonna keep this train rolling, man. So WNBA news, man. Of course, first two names we got to talk about: Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese. They met up last week, and Caitlin Clark got a season high. Yeah, yeah, the fever played the star. Yeah, but Caitlin Clark got a season high. Though. Yeah, yeah, I didn't say nothing about the win. I just yeah. they met up. See, season high, what, 31 points, 12 assists? 31 points, 12 assists. Caitlin Clark did that. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Angel Reese did what she do, got a 10 and 11. 10 I saw 11. the funniest quote last night, though. What's that? It's like, man, all this debate about Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark and who's going to win the rookie of the year, that's like, that's like comparing Steph Curry and Andre Drummond. How not? How not? Look at that. Look at that stat line. How not? First off, Andrew Drummond ain't ain't let his now team he been on to squat rebounds. He was he was solid. I say two two nothing. I'm talking. About I don't nothing. think this guy in the playoffs yet. No, I don't think this guy in the playoffs. Yeah, yeah. But uh, when Andrew didn't 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 Andrew reach just set the rebound record at the WNBA? So uh, what's the name? But no, no. He done got 20 rebounds in games yeah. before. I don't Who think she's got that? more rebounds than he's gotten in a game before. That he's got. No, they not. Nobody in the WNBA is getting rebounds like the men. You know. Oh, Angel Reese got 20 rebounds. It's a lot of dudes. Yeah, once, or, once or twice. What I'm saying, I'm, I'm not going. I'm not going. It's so. That's a great analogy. Angel Reese. That's a great oh, analogy. No, 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 it's not. No, it's not. So you you're comparing. You're comparing. And you just said what Cannon Clark is doing is controlling the tip of the game. Yeah, Steph don't necessarily do that. He just shoot a lot. I ain't even talking about Steph. I'm talking about Kaylin and Angel right now. No, yeah. I'm so Kaylin's controlling the tip of the game yeah, versus 10 and 11. I think, I don't I don't think there's really a debate when it comes to rookie of the year in the WNBA. Oh, no, there ain't no debate. But to, and I'm, not, I'm, not, saying, I'm not diminishing what Hannah Reese has done. But I'm saying like this here. But yes, it's it not a comparison. Yes, it is. Because this person. Andre Drummond ain't did, never did squat in the NBA. Andre, he made the league get rebounded once or twice. He is an average player. He don't motivate his team. I, that is an insult to Angel Reese, as far as I'm concerned. Angel Reese on the women's level is better than Andre Drummond is on the men's level. I don't know. 
I mean, let's, let's look at it. I mean, I can go look. I ain't trying to tear Randy Reese down. That's not what I'm saying. But I think it's time to start comparing the two. No, no, I'm not. Who compared them? They play different positions. Oh, yeah, but everybody's it's always, it's always this or that. And now they're saying, hey, it needs to be cold rookie of the year. No, it doesn't say that. A lot of the, the uh, Lisa Leslie said it. You know, a lot of different people are saying they need to have cold rookie of the year. Like, no. It's one rookie of the year in the WNBA. By uh, far. Uh, no, that's, you're absolutely right. But that don't mean we got to try to diminish her. I'm not diminishing her at all. But, but I thought. Kind of, on the women's level, to Andre Drummond, two me is to mix it up. Because I don't remember Andre Drummond. He was no Andre Drummond. Andre Drummond was, was good. Game. But, but he didn't have no, but, but his team was always last. His team in college, he ain't did nothing. At least Angel Reese led her college team to a national championship. Huh. Oh, Andre yeah, Drummond ain't up college. You don't want to bring up yeah. college. You don't even like to bring up college. When yeah, talk about about okay, but then just, uh, sometimes you do. So sometimes I do. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, uh, but I'm just saying. Angel Rick, Andre Drummond ain't, ain't set no kind of rookie record. He ain't did nothing in the NBA that she has done on the level of the WNBA. He ain't led no NBA, uh, no, no, set no rookie record and rebounded, said no other. He ain't did none of that. So to compare, he's a, the, to me, to me. We're looking at uh, Andre Drummond is a two time NBA All Star. Okay. All NBA third team in 2016. Don't even bring up first. Four-time NBA rebounding yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. NBA all-rookie second team. Mm -hmm. Big East freshman team. Yeah. Those, all are his, all, all, those are his career highlights. Yeah, all, all stuff happened his first one or two years. Then there's his career. And ain't, and don't know what I'm saying. Set no record in college. He led his team nothing. I mean, two but more. Flag football, Eddie says, I don't believe in Angel Reese. She rebounds every shot she misses. And neither Angel Reese or Andre Rum Drummond can shoot. Facts. No, okay. I mean, those are facts. He, she rebound, but but uh, flag football. Nobody else is trying to rebound the shot she shoot. <laughs> Everybody trying to get the rebound, man. It don't matter who shoots the shot. It just matter you get the rebound. Yeah. And, and and I disagree with you on that. Flag, even if she do rebound every shot she take, why the other people not rebounding them? I mean, I don't know. All I all these levels. So when she set the rookie record and rebounded, every rebound she got was off her own shot. Bullshit flag. No, nah, bullshit was, flag. No, nah, 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 I mean, no, nah, Andrew Reese is her. not no Andre Drummond. She, right. She's not no Andre Drummond. We are yet, I don't know yet, because uh, again, he was. Yeah, dude, that's the whole thing. First team, you know, second team. You know, and, and, and this is the whole thing. We talking about over, over, over the flag. I want you to tell me all the stats that Steph Curry done done. Uh, Steph Curry's pretty solid, though. Yeah. I'm not gonna look that up right now because yeah. keep the show going. Yeah, yeah. But still pretty solid. Yeah, man. but he 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 ain't led to the NBA in three point shooting, man. So, not one year. So both of these yeah. rookies, yeah, both of these rookies are looking up to one yet lady in the league yeah, right absolutely. now. Absolutely. And they looking up to Asia Wilson. Yeah, absolutely. Who busted out uh 41 and 17. Yeah. The other night. She's special. She is. Will Chamberlain. Uh, Michael Jordan, she is that or whoever is the head dog in the hunt in the WNBA. Oh, yeah, she is. Or in whatever league, that's who Isaiah Wilson, yeah. Isaiah Wilson is. Yeah, 41 17. Went in the other day, you know, so she had, like, like Kayla got hands down rookie of the year. Isaiah Wilson is hands down MVP in the Oh, league. yeah, oh, yeah. Absolutely. Ain't no doubt about absolutely. it. Absolutely. No doubt about it. Especially, man. I don't know. That game, that game Sunday night was very entertaining. Or Sunday, uh, between the the Dallas Wings and the yeah. uh and the Indiana Fever, man, because we got to see Angel go in. Like she back to back games, what, 31, 27? You know, and, and yeah, 12 assists in both games. Yeah, absolutely. She you know, so she is, her. And, and her the Indiana Fever are 17 and 16 as of today. They started the season 0 and 8. So they that's leading your team. You know, that's some that's some real that's some real stuff right there that's going on over there in Indiana. They got you know, uh Aaliyah Boston who has picked up a game this year as well. So yeah, man. That's some Ben Ball. She just didn't have no help. Yeah. That's what help now. Yeah. She got more help now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And she was going to college for sure, but I don't oh, know yeah. what she was on in the yeah, no, game no, the first. No, no, she was been, been, been ball. She was solid the first year. She just didn't have no help. Right over. Right over. And then you see yep. but she was hurt at the first of the year. And that's uh, 0 and 8, yeah. Yeah, 0 and 8, 0 and 8. She came back. Yeah. 0 and 8, we used to get the chain of the team. Kayla, 
I mean, yeah, Kayla, Kayla Clark, yeah, Kayla, Kayla, Kayla Clark. No doubt. This is what we got. And, and, that, other, and that other young lady, uh, yeah. the, this uh, I can't, uh, Mitchell. Yeah. Uh, Kelsey, uh, Kelsey Mitchell, is that her name? I believe. Yeah, she she shooting lights out for those Indiana Fever, man. But now, nah, Kaitlyn Clark, man, she, I mean, just what she's doing for the game is oh, just yeah, special. I can't believe the hate going on with Cheryl Swoops, right? Cheryl yeah. Swoops. Goes out of her way to talk about the Indiana Fever and how how much better they've grown this year and names everybody on the team but Kaylin Clark. Yeah, and don't give her credit. Well, who is Cheryl Swoops? I mean, she was the coldest in the league at one point. But, you know, back in the day. Uh, okay. okay. You she, know, she wasn't calling the Cynthia Cooper. It's always somebody. Since Cynthia Cooper was running the Houston Rockets, but to, I mean, the Houston Comments. Comments, until she retired. Well, well, Cheryl, Cheryl was there before Cynthia West. No, Cynthia was there first. They had two or three times. They were, yeah, yeah, they, they, they were time. together. Yeah, they had some times before Cheryl even got there. Oh, straight up? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, it's always somebody. Yeah. And this is what I'm not going to do. I'm not the. Kayla Floyd uh, definitely deserved the rookie of the year. She's a great player. But we have to stop trying to diminish other people to make our other people look better. Yeah, no doubt. Look like you don't have to diminish Angel Reese. We're not diminishing Angel Reese at all. Brian Hunter, Andre Drummond, to me. But we don't have well, to Andre say Drummond, it. His, his, his rookie season and his first season in the league, he's not who Andre Drummond is now. He was a dog at that point. He was an asset at that point, oh. Okay. Okay. Look up his stats, his rookie season. Like, he was solid. He was a 2020 no, 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 guy. Solid for one he was a consistent 2020 guy. No, he wasn't. Andre Drummond? No, he wasn't. Oh, uh, he was going in. Yeah, the Andre Andre Drummond ain't probably ain't never had his number 20. 20, 20, 20? He was in 2010. 2010 for sure. But he was uh, the, I, 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 he, he might have been there one time. Oh, come 2010, on. 2010, uh, Andre Drummond. Yeah, no, 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 uh, Andre Drummond ain't, ain't been no I'm 20 John by the 2010, maybe once, or maybe twice at the most. Let me see. 28. 28, 9, 17 and a half. 20, 28, 28, 1, 17 and a half. 28 points? Oh, I'm sorry. My bad, my bad, my bad. Those are minutes. <laughs> you know, back <laughs> in. Back up there. I'm just close. I got down. All right, so yeah, we got what? Uh, 17.8, 15.8. 17.3, 15.6. Those are the two seasons I'm talking about. Yeah. But he's 15 and 16. 13 or 13.6, 13.8. 16.2, 14.8. Yeah. I mean, that's very simple. I don't know. Yeah, that's how he's averaging that many points yeah. right now. This is what I'm saying. So how many people in the NBA is averaging what the, and the WNBA is averaging what the men are? How many people are averaging 27? Kayla? Averaging 27. Averaging 27? Yeah. And in, in the WNBA. Oh, I don't know. Probably, probably, probably nobody. You can't compare them, but I'm just saying to me. I'm just John, saying. Andre yeah. Drummond ain't never moved my needle. I ain't never but, seen but you, you. I don't know. You look at the numbers, though. You yeah, can't these numbers. Yeah. He didn't have to have no 20, like I said. He never had 20 points. Never had no 20 points. Neither his. Andrew Reed. Yeah, but you said it was a 20. Yeah, my bad. I meant 17, 17, and, 17 and 15. Yeah, he was, a, he was a 15 and 12 guy more. 17 and 15. Yeah. Yeah. The years I'm talking about. What's his, what's his career average? I mean, we can't catch yeah, him. Yeah, last year. Yeah, I'm just saying. Old. We don't have to diminish but one person. She's 12.7 and 12.4. Correct. Okay. You're a good rebound. But before you're a good rebound, you know, like I said, 16, 13, yeah, 15, yeah. 17. You're a good rebound. He averaged 17 between, he averaged about 17, 18 points for five seasons. But for his career, you have his 12. Yeah, 12. Yeah, okay. I mean, you know, yeah, drop off his pass. We don't have to, we don't have to compare our age and reach. To nobody. I'm just all, saying. The only person we got to compare her to is to herself. Man, quick on her. But analogy has been here for forever. So that, I thought that was a great analogy. To put things into perspective. I don't. I don't. I don't. The numbers I don't, say man. that's the truth. Uh -huh. The numbers right here says the double-double. The guy averages the double-double. Angel Reese's claim to fame right now is the fact she averages the double-double. Okay. 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 How can you not say those two are the same? It's just an opinion. That's your opinion. Okay, I'll be different. You're right. 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 you Close to it. Okay. Okay. You know that's all I'm saying? No, nah, but that don't have nothing to do. Angel Reese is graded against Angel Reese. Would you Reese. say Angel Reese is popular? Yeah. 
Kayla, Kayla Clark is popular too, but she because cold. She, but she ain't did none of this stuff talk compared to other Steph Curry. She ain't did nothing either because of what she has done. Don't look at Steph Curry. She probably, she probably don't look at Steph. Steph, 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 Steph we go. I look at Steph. I look, Steph, I look at Steph. Steph, Steph I'm gonna since look at Steph. We go, since we go, since we go from prior. Compare her numbers to Steph. Okay, I'm gonna look at Steph's rookie year right now. Since that's all we got to go by right now. Steph's. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's all I'm saying. Everybody stand on their own merit, man. Comparing people, that's just not good for me. Cause in my opinion, Steph rookie year, he averaged. Seventeen and a half. And five point nine. I could tell you right now, Kayla probably right there with him. Yeah. And got more assists. Yeah. And and neither one of them got nothing to do with each other. Kayla ain't got nothing to do with each other. So and, I mean, yeah, no, but but I said but I said what but before that, everybody stand on their own merit. We ain't gotta try to try to say that Angel Reese play like this to make Kayla sound better. No, I'm just Kayla, saying it was a Kayla valid it was up. a valid analogy, is all I'm saying. For you, it was not for well, me. Based off it's the numbers. It's all about by an opinion, and, the, and it's like you say, it's more to it than numbers because sometimes your attitude around the team, Andre Drummond's attitude ain't never been positive for his team. Oh, well, he was young, it was bad. Come on, it was bad when he was come young. On, That's all I'm saying. Everybody stand here. on their own merit. Angel Reese stand on her merit. Kayla stand on her merit. Angel Reese should be real good in year. We ain't got to compare nobody to nobody. But next subject. I just want to see Kayla's stats real quick. Yeah. We'll move on. So she's doing better than Steph. Yeah. 18.7 and 5.6. Uh, absolutely. Uh, and she's averaging 8.4 assists. I'm sorry. So she's averaging four more assists and one more point than Steph. So yeah. I think it's a valid. Yeah. I think it's a valid. So that means she's better than Steph. So that's a bad analogy. I mean, because she, because way, her yeah. numbers is better than Steph. So that's a bad analogy. They both shooting. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. They both shoot on the boxing news. So Yeah, on the boxing news. So uh, <laughs> see that's that's why analytic dudes be wearing dudes out. That's why I can't stand Dak. It's the opposite of this. See, I'm you right now. What's that? I ain't worried about the numbers. No, no, you got to but, and everybody be arguing the numbers with me with Dak and all that. They don't they don't tell the story. But uh the words and losses tell the story. You losing the playoffs. Yeah, exactly. So, so, uh, the uh, so, and Monty Khalif. Monty Khalif. Uh, the, the Olympic got dog on sensation, the story everybody was talking about. Is she a man? Is she not a man? Uh, she's on front cover of Vogue. Mm -hmm. Vogue magazine cover. So congratulations, Amani. You won that gold medal. And now you're getting your shine on letting everybody know what a woman looks like out here to throw them hands. You know, so I think it's a dope little cover. She got her boxing gloves on, like a Mother Teresa looking. I don't know if that's who that's supposed to be, but. Yeah, it's somebody. Yeah, somebody. I don't. I don't know exactly what figure, uh, historic figure that is. Uh, if somebody in the chat knows who that, who she's supposed to be mimicking right now, please tell me. I don't like to be ignorant, but I didn't have time to look it up. Other than that, the monster fought yesterday. Uh, yep. yesterday morning, Monday. Yesterday oh, morning. Oh, oh in Japan on Tuesday. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Noya. Uh, in a way, the monster is his nickname. Mm -hmm. Got him another knockout in a very just strange. Like he didn't knock him. It was a TKO, right? And the dude literally, I got to get up to show you what he did. My boy got hit, right? He's against the rope. He gets hit, and my boy gets up like he's like this, and starts limping, and his his foot look all jacked up. Look like he hurt his hip. You know what I'm saying? Graham in his back. I'm like, bro, like, what wrong with you right now, dog? He hit you in your abs. Why are you grabbing your back, bro? You know, and then it was like, oh my gosh, he got hit the stomach and I guess he knocked the backbone out of place. <laughs> He's yeah. like, we don't know what's wrong with this kid right now. So I was like, he, he affected his heel. Yeah, <laughs> hey, that boy got hurt. Whatever it was, dude, hang on. He just got tired of getting beat up. What it really was. Okay, okay. Because Monster kept getting him in that, he get him against the ropes and just throw them, throw them hands real quick. But it was a good fight, you know? I think it went like seven rounds. Oh, yeah. Uh, a lot of people predicted that fight to end much, end much earlier than it did. But uh, but nah, it was a good fight, man. It was entertaining until old buddy, I don't know, I still don't know what's wrong with him. 
Because I'm talking as soon as the fight was over, he walked over to his corner and gave him a hug. You know? <laughs> what? You wasn't limping or nothing? No limp. Uh, Back wasn't hurting. Nothing. Well, well, that sounded like he was finished. It sounded like in the contract, it's like, he must go six rounds to get paid. <laughs> nah. That boy, he came uh, out in that seventh and was dope. No, he just was doing what? What? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I think his name is Duhaney or something like that. Y'all gotta go check that out. There's been guys that actually refuse to get off the stool. They like, no, I'm done. Oh, absolutely. You know, they don't even go back yeah. now. Yeah. Uh, it was, and, and when the round ended, they walked back to the corner like they were mm-hmm. mine, but they're like, where did you do? I'm out of here. You know what you really have hands on me. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. But I ain't yeah. ever seen in my boy. He ain't know what I gotta. You gotta see it. He don't know what was wrong. <laughs> you know, like on third down when the defense get tired and somebody just fall on the ground and oh, got yeah, that yeah, heavy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so like that's what he was doing. Yeah, He's yeah. like, man, hold up. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm hurt, y'all. Yeah. He started walking off, walking off during the fight towards yeah. the referee. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, that way, you know, he was like, <laughs> no, he was like, maybe he was like, my new, my neck, my back. <laughs> And my crack. Whatever you the him, back, back, all that was it. Hey, all man. that was what that was. Hey, what up, Trill? What's going on? They got you. I still hold top of Jay. Oh, Chip says, Chip said that's a Muslim garb, bro. That's a Muslim garb. Oh, all right. right. Three months in Sharon Pig out of Duck, Tokyo Chin at best. You think that's what it was, bro? Yeah, yeah, that's all it was. Because they say his next fight going to be here in the U.S. Oh, the time with the monster? Yeah. His next fight going to be here in the U.S. They said, who do you think he, sh- he should fight? And uh, Shakur already said something. He said, he ought to, you know, come up to my way and I'll, I'll go with him. You know? But, you know, Shakur always, he going to take every opportunity to, to stay in the stand of conversation, you know? Yeah. He, he always run in his mouth. Yeah, like I said, he's going to have to fight a little better, too. All that dancing around. Mm-hmm. Man, this is a fight that they don't, you know, I don't. Yeah. Yeah. Like. And then uh, uh, we got a fight coming up next weekend. Canelo Alvarez. A spice dog. Edgar Belingas. Oh, okay. Right? A Belinga. I'm for my money on Canelo. Canelo got the man. Man, man all good. I don't even know Belingas, but he better be in the fight if he fight Canelo. Everybody tried to sign that young buck. I tell you that. Yeah. When he became free, a free agent off the top rank, Floyd tried to get him. Uh, Oscar tried to get him. And now he ended up with Eddie Hearn. Floyd got didn't, 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 did yeah, Floyd? yeah, take left for it. Uh, Who's Floyd got now? I'm not sure who's still with Floyd right now. I, I don't know Camille Moten, the young, the young kid. Oh, okay. That's all I really know though, because uh, Floyd had another, uh, another young buck. I can't think of his name right now. That could that got hands, but uh, he said he need to fight Gary Russell. Yeah, that'd be a great fight. Yeah, that'd yeah. be a great fight. Yeah, sure. yeah, certain yeah, levels. Yeah, you, you, you right. Yeah, no, nah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Canelo couldn't hand, handle that 175. Bivol. No, nah, that's too much. Yeah, that's too hey, much. I'm looking forward to that uh, Bivol and uh, the other guy I saw with a B. I can't think of his name right now off the top of my head, but they got to fight in October. Looking yeah. forward to that one. Because yeah, that's two, man, them two dudes going to try to kill each other. Man, some of these guys got to meet each other. Man, they're all doing a lot of posturing and talking. Yeah. But they got to meet each other, man. Yeah, yeah. A man by DNA, but a woman by parts, and born the way we're so called female. This world, man, shake my head. A man by DNA, but a woman by parts, and born that. I think she just got an extra chromosome, but she is a female though. Like she got the female part. Or oh, yeah, you know, she got you know, everybody a high level of testi- yeah. testosterone. Yeah. You know, and I think she had a Y chromosome too, but I mean, it's you know, something it's a, extra in the Y. Yeah, it's that, that track label, but she's still a woman, though. Yeah, yeah, because with everybody, oh, no, 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 no vaginas around this hole. <laughs> I'm just saying, though, we can't have no baby, yeah, though. Man, I don't it's know. It's some babies that act like that's a, you know, that's a, that's a touchy subject, man. Yeah, it is. All I go by what they say she is. I, I have no idea. She's no on with it. She is it. Yeah. You know, that's how I, that's, hey, up, up, live up, yeah. Boy, girl, you know, yeah, boy, girl. you go to the uh, to the doctor and you get the, when you when you girl pregnant and they see some balls, you know, you know it's a boy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, like that's it. But hey, she ain't got no balls, dog. So she's gonna. You know, that's all I can go by what they say, man. And they ain't been to try to get in no great. Yeah, they try to get. That. I'm just saying, like, I'm thinking like I'm 1995 medical field. That's it. I'm 95 medical field. What's going on now? I can't really hit that. You know what I'm saying? I can't speak to that. But um, 
Anyway, uh, yeah, the, the, the boy fighting next week. Uh, Big one of them fighting in October is what I'm talking about. Absolutely, absolutely. But uh, we're gonna keep this thing rolling. Uh, I love everybody. You know what I'm saying? Do what you do, dog. Yeah. Do what you do, dog. Yeah, do your. You know what I'm saying. Do your own but thing. We've been talking about Imani because I I love it. I love the story. Yeah. I support Imani. You know that's yeah. why we continue to talk about it. So anybody got a problem with it? Like it is what it is. Like we're all different. We're all made different. She I ain't gonna do it. Hey, I ain't if I was a chick born with an extra Y chromosome and I could go whoop somebody's ass and get a gold medal and get paid, what you think I'm gonna do? <laughs> hey, advantage me around this hoe. You know what I'm saying? Period. Advantage me. We ain't seen that before. You know, shit. LeBron might got an extra inch chromosome around that hoe. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, Six, nine know. running around like he doing. You know? Yeah. Ain't nobody questioning that, but. Yeah, Berlinga do. I think Berlinga got a chance, man. I yeah. think Berlinga, because he's a true 168, and the yeah. man got hands, you know, and he throws, you know. But, you know, but Canelo's a lot like Tank, you know. Like, yeah, they they set these traps up. Yeah. And then they, they stuck they you. Mason, they miss they you. Now, there's a matter. Yeah. What are you saying? No, they just, they, they face you. Yeah. They stalk you. And then when they hit you, you yep. can't take their blow. Exactly. Just as simple as that. Exactly. And it's, I think it's a matter of can Canelo take Berlanga's punches? Because he ain't coming up. He ain't Caleb playing. Caleb playing lightweight with it, with the shots. Uh, Charlo, he was acting like, you know, he was scared. Of, like, he respected Canelo way too much to actually fight the nigga, man. Like, excuse my French. But he he wasn't really fighting him. You know what I mean? I didn't, I didn't. Charlo really pissed me off. Yeah. You know? Like, he was in there. Obviously collecting the check. My boy took a knee, bro. If Charlo on the street fighting somebody, bro, he ain't taking no knee, dog. No. You know what I'm saying? If he really in the scrap for the for the scrap, he is not taking no knee. So that really pissed me off. You know, like he wasn't in there really to fight. So we'll see what happens, man. We'll see what happens, man. And uh, what'd you say? Of uh, Clarissa, if Clarissa doesn't move up, I would like to see her. Yeah, I mean that'd be cool. That'd be cool. That'd be cool to see Clarissa fight. I think that'd be way too uh, much experience right now for Imani. That might be a fight like three or four down the years down the road once she got some fights under her belt, some prof professional fights. But she's still know, fighting she, amateurs right now. Really know she don't fight professional. Under. Yeah, I does she? Uh, we I hope she does. I hope she. If she want to get them them, them checks. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. like continue to uphold that status that she got in the country. Yeah, come bring a bell home. Come bring some bells home. Where's she? You know, got a status go. I don't know. I mean, oh, a little gold medal. Absolutely. I mean, the her, her country gonna take care of it. Do you think it's to ride for the rest of the fail? Yeah. I mean, okay. Yeah. I, I mean, mean, I know. I know. It it's, not, that, it's, it's, it's it's people riding for not in America, but in other countries. Mm -hmm. it's, it's people riding ride right now. I bet you Juan Torino won the Olympics back in the seventies. He's still a man in Cuba. Yeah. Yeah, I mean because that's what I'm I mean, saying. Like, because I'm mean, I don't know want to go over. I mean, you know, it's you know, it's, uh, uh, that's, that's bringing notoriety yeah. to your country. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. have the best human in this sport, but competing but, yeah. in this competition at this age, yeah. like this is this is the peak. She yeah, got most, the gold medal. Yeah, most countries, uh, especially small countries, man. When you bring attention to them, yeah, like they never had. They take care of you. This is at the least been to been taken care of around the world. A couple of them I know personally. They take them a uh, 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 rain on too. It was, was, it was the Karate James, something like that. Uh, karate yeah, James, Karate James, uh, Kim Collins didn't even. Uh, Kim Kim Collins ain't even won no gold medal. Man, on this island, he got a big old house on the hill and all this stuff. I mean, you know, but wow. but that's because really? that because that's a once in a lifetime. Thing. Absolutely, and that's, yeah. that's a huge that's a huge thing, man. That's a huge yeah. thing. But we're gonna keep this thing rolling, man. Just the time. I know we're going long. Just enjoying ourselves on this. Season 11 premiere, man. Appreciate y'all tuning in. If you haven't had the opportunity, go over there and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell, man. We're just trying to grow, man. We got oh, yeah. the over here. You know, we're looking to get our memberships rocking. We got a very low membership rate, but, you know, hey, once you get into the memberships, we'll start opening these things up. We got so much content I have your release, man. Like, uh, like we got, you know, it's, it's some cool stuff coming along oh, in, in the pipeline as well, so... Uh, but we'll keep this thing rocking. And this has now become my, one of my favorite parts of the show. This is when this is a, 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 a not, uh, there, we can't debate this. 
These are just my own opinions. Simply our own opinion and our newest part of the show that we like to call IMO. What's going down, Nook? What you got for us today, you know? Man, I got nicknames for you. Yeah. If this is this is this is just my opinion. Yeah. I think nicknames are earned. Absolutely. And now ha, ha, ha. We have a uh, few nicknames that we used to. Yeah. You know, we had Mr. Clutch. Yeah. Walt Clyde Frazier. Yeah. Wilt the Steel or, or the Big Dipper. He preferred the Big Dipper. Yep. You know, you had Magic Johnson, even Earl Jordan, you know, Clyde the Glides, uh, Drexler. You know, you had the Fierce and Fawesome in football. You had Sweetness. You had... uh. You had uh, 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 the, the, uh, 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 Doomsday and Steel Yeah, you yeah, had yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, the Steel Curtain. You know, you had Hammer and Hank. Yeah. You know, you just had just abundance of nicknames. Yeah. But now, you, we don't have that. You know, you got King James and you got the Splash Brothers. Yeah. And uh, who got a nickname in football? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. I can't. I can't. I think you don't right now. You know, I mean, y'all think anybody's got a nickname and and I mean, right now. I mean, I, I, I mean, nickname. but you know, Cool Joe. Yeah, yeah. Joe Burrow. Yeah, okay. Cool okay. Joe. But that was uh, that's the only one I could think. Yeah, of. Yeah, that was uh, that was Joe Namath with Joe Cool way back when they were the Super. Yeah, I yeah. think so. To me, nicknames were earned. Yeah, you know, cause the cause the fearsome foursome, and man, that was uh, that was Marilyn Olson. Uh, 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 uh. uh Deacon Jones, uh, uh, Greer, uh, uh, uh hey, DJ Greer, Greer, and I, I mean, uh, uh, Roosevelt Greer, all these guys, you know, and the purple people eaters, yeah, was uh, Alan Pate, and these guys stayed together, played together, and earned a still carrying all kind of nickname. Me, Joe Green, man, Willie Bob, hey, man, you know, <laughs> can we can we start DJ Ugly for DJ Ugly <laughs> Lane? Can we call I'm him here. ugly, DJ Ugly? Yeah, and okay. this is just my opinion. These <laughs> players aren't imaginative enough, yeah, doing enough to even earn a nickname. They don't, they're not passionate enough you know, about the game enough. Yeah, game with the game, you know, because you got Iceman. Yeah, Iceman. It's, it's so many, I can't even think of Dr. J. Yeah, Dr. J, look at all this. Yeah, all of these people. Magic. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But now you got, the, you know, King James. King James and the Splash Brothers. And they broke up now, so you know. Well, PG thirteen, but that's his name. Is his I know, yeah, I'm just saying. What? Like no, like you know. So nicknames came from people being passionate, yeah, and doing and Thank singling you. themselves out among the group. Yes. And right now, the reason we don't. This is just my opinion. We don't have uh, any nicknames because there is not enough people singling themselves out from the group. Yeah. And that's just my opinion. Agreed. On the nickname. I love nicknames too. Yeah, I love them. That, that, so when I played ball, I had a handshake and a nickname for everybody. Oh, yeah, man. Like, I'm not calling you by your government name. No, bro. no, 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 no. And before we get this game cracking, I'm going down the dugout, down the line, and giving everybody a hand, our handshake. Yeah, me and you. You know what I'm saying? Me and you. And they all different. Yeah. I used to love that I stuff. Oh, hey, man, we had, we had all kinds of nicknames, man. We yeah. Had, <laughs> we had Duke Fun. Yeah. And, you know, what you think do for the man? And then this the thing, nickname meant so. Yeah. What you kind of think do for the man? Everything he do look goofy. Look funny. goofy. Do yeah, funny. look funny. Do, you're doing funny, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you know, we had, hey, hey, we had, uh, you know, uh, Michael, Michael Strands, his brother now, yeah. call him Bob. Yeah. Booty on back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we had, we had, <laughs> you know, we had that. We, we also had two booty. Why is he yeah. like, why we call it two booty because his booty way up here <laughs> on his back? <laughs> Looks like two. He was yeah. Yeah. Say, man, he got yeah. two booties here. Guess what? Yeah. At first, they resisted. Yeah. But within three, four days, they was absolutely two. Absolutely. So, no, I love so we love nicknames, man. You know, love even it. in high school, we had we had Dottie Quick Draw McGraw, John Paul the Train McCrumley. Yeah. Just all the time nicknames because they was distinguishing themselves away from the group. And so we we got to call him something else. The other side is going. Oh, and he earned it. And like he said, it was earned. It was earned. And that's just my opinion. Yeah. Well, I love it, though. Yeah. Like I said, I love me nicknames. I I I name. I call you Hunk. Yeah, absolutely. That ain't my name. Nickname. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it is what it is. Hey, so, me. yeah, man. So, uh, in my opinion, 
I ain't cool with this 12 game playoff. That's too many games. That's too many teams. You mean 12 team playoff? A 12 team playoff. Yeah, my bad. 12 team playoff. That's too many teams, man. Like, what are we doing now? 12? 12? 12. We go from two to four to, four to 12. Six would have been cool. Eight would have been all right. Elite eight. Cool. Bet. 12? 12. I'm tired of the NCAA chasing money, man. Yeah, that's all the real money, bro. I'm tired of y'all chasing money, acting like you care about these kids. And they ain't even getting the money. 12 teams, bro. Too many. There's going to be several teams with two losses in there. That's why I still say Florida State got a chance. Depending on what the other teams in that schedule do and depending on what they do. But hey, I could be completely wrong. But we had three one-win teams in a four-team playoff last year. It ain't many, ain't that many one-win teams in the season. Yeah, absolutely. Twelve? How we come up with that number, man? I have no idea. Like, what are we doing, bro? I could say six. Well, like I say, out of stretch, eight. Eight? But twelve? Maximum ten with two teams with bye weeks. One and two, y'all got to buy. Cool. You know, you know, twelve teams, bro. You know, do you know what that reminds me of? What's that? The NBA playing. That you know, you know what it reminds me water of. Water down, water down. You know what it reminds me of. What's that? Oh, oh, y- y'all, y'all paid how much? And you got two lot. Oh, here's a participation, a partic, a partic, participation. So, participation, participation. Who, Lord, can't talk. Participation ribbon right here for you. You know. You ain't get first, second, or third, or fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, or tenth, or eleventh. You twelve, but you're twelve, and you can put this stamp by your name that you made it to the tournament. Bro, come on, dog. What are we doing, bro? Twelve teams, and this is a national championship tournament. Get out of here, bro. That's too many teams. I'm all for eight, six to eight, but twelve. Go on about your business, man. In a few few years, it'll be sixteen. Yeah, man. Few years, it'll be sixteen. Absolutely. Uh, it's all about the bread. It ain't never been about the kids. No, no, no. If it was about the kids, you wouldn't have let any of these kids sit out if they want to transfer. You don't make coaches tra- sit out a year, right? They got a transfer portal now, yeah, but it's still rules there. If it's about the kids, forget about the rules, man. If they ain't where they want to be and they want to leave, let them go somewhere else and let them play. Absolutely. How you not going to let a kid play? So I, I'm done with it, man. NCAA, y'all are fools. In my opinion, yeah, it's just my opinion. It's just my opinion. That's all I got to say about it. But man, definitely appreciate you all joining us today for this great show. Absolutely. You know, season eleven is gonna be a a, a banger. Fun ball, man. We gonna have guests, man. Just be, just wait, man. It's gonna be a lot of fun this season, man. So appreciate y'all joining us. You know, we'll be back next Wednesday, summer time around noon. And hey, we're going to have a watch party. We'll let y'all know. I believe we're going to be here on Sunday. Absolutely. Down watch out, Browns. And them boys, man. And them hey. boys. And them boys. I'm about them boys. We them boys right now. But now, nah, we'll see y'all. See, we soon. them boys right now. After back, when they get to the playoff, they them boys. They them boys. <laughs> and that's how it's been. That's how it's been. That's how it's been. Yeah, I think it's the Super Bowl, we them boys. Yeah, we them boys. Again. Yeah, man. But, hey, we'll see y'all. Next Wednesday for show, sometime around noon. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button, that notification bell. We'll see y'all. Peace. We are. Hey, Rain. Peace. Welcome to a realm where the pulse of sports thrills and the spark of technology sizzles. Join Ronald Unk Bolware and your charismatic host, Jay, a- a.k.a. Jonathan Anderson. Together, they unpack the latest in sports and technology. This is Noonish Sports and Tech.